Uh, welcome back to God was Warless. This is Dragonlance episode 33. This is the last one before I go on my break to when I start my move. Welcome in, Stargana Silver. Can I get some shout outs for everybody? Uh, Silver's in. Yay! Silver is also here. So let's make sure we get a shout out for Silver, one of our lovely mods, and Stargana as always. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, like I said, this is our last episode for I go on my long break until June ish sometime. So hopefully we can pile through as much as we can tonight and you know get a good spot stopping spot or something like that I've been working on my voices for these characters coming up so I'll, I'll hope y'all get a kick out of them anyway uh welcome in uh let's turn it over to my fellow streamers in the game we do have cleansing rain that will be returning to streaming hopefully tomorrow night fingers crossed yep uh tomorrow night is the plan um just some quick changes. If you haven't been to our channel before, we used to be extremely focused on indie survival crafting, um, finding a lot of games that you had never heard of and mastering them right as, right as they came out or before they came out, even in some cases. However, um, you know, uh, some of you may know I've brought it up before, went through about a nine month battle with depression that has gotten tremendously better in the last three months. So, ready to get back into it this time uh the stream is going to be more focused on practicing voice acting so there will be channel commands that allow you to you know make me be arnold for a while while i'm playing or so on and so forth going through uh, other characters adding characters as we go and uh just focused on voice acting voice acting voice acting uh we've landed a second role i've now got my voice is now in two games uh neither of them released yet but as some npc characters and so uh really wanting to follow that as my as my goal and it's not so much twitch oriented as it is just a constant uh two or three day a week um practice slash auditions demos so uh It'll still be the same fun. We'll still do lots of fun trivia times and, and segmented breaks like that. We're still going to be playing some gaming, of course. But as I said, the main focus of it will now be um, character impressions and working on a bunch of fun things. So I hope you all can make it even if only for a minute. And thank you for letting me say all that, Jugan. You're welcome, buddy. And you also have gotten the D&D bug now. So, or sorry, Nilish. That plays Vera. <laughs> <laughs> Both work. Um, I actually uh, have uh, been DMing for a game myself at the moment, uh, playtesting Daggerheart with a bunch of friends. So I have not been streaming. Um, and it's kind of been taking up a little bit more time than I expected it would be. And it's my first time DMing. So it's a little crazy. But I. I'm still supposed to be streaming, uh, especially when we're about to go on a break after this Dragon Lance. Um, so I, I'm planning to do like a little uh, craft uh, stream, mostly uh, making a, uh, a character journal for Vera, just to keep me <laughs> in the game of remembering Vera and all of my fellow players here. Uh, Don't know exactly when I'm doing that, but it will be soon. I've already got all the materials. So Dagger's heart out. Dagger heart is out the play test. Oh man! It, it open beta is out right now. Yeah. Um, it's Sweet. been interesting. <laughs> the okay. players I'm playing with, like a frog and a fungus person, and a bunch of weird stuff. But yeah. All right. We will dive into that, but I'm very interested. I want to look into all that stuff. Anyway, we'll grab your goblet, step back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Kren and Dragonlance. Quiet melody that if I live 
And welcome back, Dashin. Would you like to lead us to tonight's recap? Ah, oh, yes. When we last left our heroes, we had just entered these barren wastes, but before that, we were at just outside Camp Carrion Clay. We broke the news of Belram's passing to Cudgel. A lot of us read some of the the letters that Belram had left behind for us. And as we uh, we spoke to Cudgel via the Fargab to rendezvous with some of the armies, arrange for burial rites for for our fallen comrade. Uh, we had some real interpersonal character growth throughout the the last couple sessions as well. We um, during the night's watch, uh, Carrie and I really really hammered down our motivations for for whether or not we are useful, for whether or not our lives have purpose at all. Followed up by a midnight training session with Vera, both in the in the nature of musical instrument training and in instruments of combat. Uh, both Vera and myself seem to have grown in skill in regard to those to those areas. Uh, <clears throat> from all these things, uh, we noticed that Stardust had had grown a bit in size. In fact, is even now capable of flight. Uh, we had Vera currently getting the ride of her life on the back of Stardust as we traveled on through the waste, leaving Camp Carrion Clay behind us as we headed towards Kinna's encampment i can't remember for the life of me what it's called because we call it two or three different things all the time but uh as we were inbound there and feeling like our journey was coming to a close we noticed a lone adventurer up ahead this adventurer was scaling a wall with spiders on his tail and we called out to see if the adventurer were friend or foe i don't believe we got an answer back from him but uh a small swarm of these large spidered beings started to surround the walls on either side of us and collapse down into the canyon that we were traveling through. And this is where you find the party now. Yeah, I think that's all. Yep. Uh, on your way to Hearts Hollow. Hearts Hollow. Yeah. Uh, I sent you a DM on Zoom, by the way. Uh... With that being said, as you are coming up upon, you make arrangements to meet up with the with the army that is traveling behind you near Hot's Hollow on the massive plateau that where Hot's Hollow is at or located, and you're told they can meet you the next morning or evening or in a day or so. And uh, we find ourselves right here. So let's just go ahead and get to the battle map. And as you're approaching, you saw this adventure uh, running between the valley and he threw a rope up and he climbed up on top of a, a ledge across the... Um, across the uh, gorge here as these spiders are chasing them two spiders saw you started coming close to you and that's where we pick up you guys have already rolled your initiative with ziggy rolling a natural 20 so you get a survive or surprise round ziggy and we're, we're starting now then oh yeah yeah uh okay guys i think we need to save this uh adventure here um i was thinking for a moment i don't think i'm gonna mess with any sort of talking to animals i'm gonna just find out they're hungry and trying to kill us uh so i believe i'm gonna move uh back and south like a bunch of paces to kind of like try to do like a flanking maneuver okay. yeah i'm gonna move like back five or ten and then south uh, maybe 10 or 15. 10, 
so that I'm kind of behind uh, Green. 25. 30 is about right there. Yeah, something like that. Um, and uh, for now, bonus action, Hunter's Mark on the spider right there. Concentrating on Hunter's Mark on which spider? Uh, the one directly in front of me. And uh, I'm just going to launch a couple of attacks here. Um, ugh. 15? Uh, 15 hits. All right. We did 14 plus 17 points of damage for that first hit. And I believe I moved too far away from Stardust to use the infusing thing. How uh, far as if he has to be near you? I think he has to be within 30 feet. Um, but he can infuse anybody, not just me. So I'm gonna, I, he's just going to say that in case like... Vera he's exactly 30 feet from you. Oh. Um... Uh, okay, well, uh, let's uh, do an, a, an additional lightning damage on that last roll, if you want. Six points. Alrighty. And I think I still have one more attack. Alright. And this is just your surprise oh, round. Okay. 21. Yeah. 21 hits. I've got a three. I'm going to use my piercer stat or thing and re-roll that. Okay. Yeah. We did 12 points plus a D6. Ziggy, he has three hit points left. How would you like to do okay. this? Uh, Come did, up, Ziggy! Yeah, I just roll over and just start firing bolts of energy and the spider just blows up. Guts, spider guts going everywhere. Just doesn't even know what hit him. Probably hadn't even turned around to see what, what was what was coming at him. Nice. As you release explodes, splatter everywhere. Uh your second attack. Oh no, wait. That was oh, my yeah. first round. That was my surprise round. Yeah, okay. So I was round. Now you have your actual round. Um Should I continue moving around a little bit? I think I'll stay right where I'm at. I'll bonus action Hunter's Mark the uh, other guy there. All right. Just and um, since I'm you like that infusion thing is the Drake's reaction, I can't use that again. It's already used up this turn, right? Correct. Okay. Well, I'll just fire a couple attacks at this guy then. Got it. Uh, we did uh, 23. 23 hits. And, but I could reuse my piercer stat thing, right? Because uh, this it, is another, an extra round. It. Yeah, oh, yeah, because the other one's a surprise round. So yeah, you get it every right. new round, right? Yeah, yeah. once per round. Um, I'll just go with that last one was um, a two. Oops. Yeah, that was two for the hunter's mark, and that added to. Um, that added to the last roll, which I just completely spaced on what it was. Okay, so 11 points of damage with the first attack. Got it. Uh, and then we'll do a second attack here. Ugh. 14. 14 just hits. Just hits, okay. Barely hits. Barely hits. All right, now I'll use my re piercer stat to re-roll. Um, that one. When you uh, roll, you have to take the next one? Yeah, I have to take it no matter what. All right, so it's 10. 10 plus my hunter's mark. Uh, we're looking at 14 points altogether. Nice. As you roll around, bless one up, release two more, acting all like legless and stuff, and 
Mm -hmm. These two take out like two of the eyeballs as they go in. And this spider is looking messed up. Like, eh, sorry, like curling ant. Is that your all turn? right. That's all I can do. You got it. Who has the bat pack? Carrie? The Fargab? The Fargab, yeah. Yeah, me. Uh, Carrie, as, um, as this happens, you get in the backpack. Anyone there? Anyone there? This is Rickle Duster. Rickle Duster. Anyone there? You can respond. Little busy right now. Okay. Ah, let's, we're sending some people out to see you because we, we, we sent somebody out to look for you. Uh, spiders about. Don't engage. Uh, stay where you are. We'll find you. Well, I think she can handle herself over. Just one. There's like a billion spiders. <sighs> you forget to say over, but uh, a billion spiders, you say? Billion spiders, huh? I don't, I don't think... What? Really? That's a lot. Just cross them with your feet. Over. <laughs> you need to say large spider, so. <laughs> yeah, true. All right, Vera, you're up. I am going to head toward that spider. Are you jumping off the Stardust? Yeah, because I can't uh, control him. Put this tack on there for nothing. I'm sorry. I didn't know if I, that that would be a problem at some point. Like All if right. we were going to be ambushed and I needed to do like a deck save for falling off or something. <laughs> I am going to take a swing at this thing. Got it. And miss. Miss, yes, that misses. As you come in and swing in, it's curling up, and you misjudge your swing, and you're just short as it's like curling up, reaching from the pain from the arrows. Don't think we can step on these. I am going to try again and waste a precise strike on this. Waste a precise strike? Yeah, for advantage. I'm wasting this. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the waters were coming in, but they're, you can easily walk through them. They're just kind of like, maybe like shoe high. Nothing too crazy. 17 oh, hits. 17. Yeah, I've, I've been like rolling really bad. They've been loving me as a DM right now because I've been rolling like shit nonstop. Um, <laughs> Okay, that's a little better. 17. Uh, 17 hits. That was with my precise strike, so I add an extra D8 to the swing. Uh, don't even bother rolling it. It has one hit point. How would you like to kill oh. it? I'm going to act like I'm going to try and smush it with my foot, and it's like way too big for me, obviously. And I'm like, nope, nope. I'm just going to slide. Uh, my sword and sweep it out under its legs and it's straight up the center. Nice. That's both your attacks. You have any bonus actions? You was your precise strike a bonus action? It was not. Okay. You have a bonus action. Um. Not that I'm going to use right now. I'm good. All That's right. it. Everything's too far away. <laughs> Dashin Yenvoy. What would you like to do and carry your own deck? Uh, Dashin witnessing the immediate strength of his teammates. We're feeling confident. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cast Skyrite. And I want to throw the favored few into the sky above the battlefield. Use your imagination because I don't have anything like that. <laughs> 
So he, uh, oh. seeing them run, he gets his loot out and he starts to play something. And it's, uh, he's playing so quickly with the tune. It's so upbeat that, you know, the smoke seems to be almost coming off of his loot. And as it, as it goes up, it rises into the sky to, to show the favored few. He's feeling pretty proud of that. So he's going to bonus action for some bardic inspiration onto whomever is immediately next to him in purple. I believe oh, that, that is, is Carrie. Carrie. Perfect. Yeah, Carrie's just watching you do that and rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where you want to move? You have your movement. You want to stay there? Um, you want to move? Or I, I will take uh, 20 feet of movement towards the, uh, towards the center of the encounter. Center? about right there and is that your turn that is my turn carry you yeah. um i will bonus action dash and move 60 feet towards the spiders all right uh i i didn't tell i think i told you guys beforehand but there is steps on this side where you can get up like kind of not like man-made steps but like natural steps you can get up to the next level if you like but if you want to dash straight down, let me know. Is Which way you want to dash? Yeah, yeah, straight I'll down. dash straight down. Uh, the two are on a lower level, right? Yep. And I can get to them these, through the arch? These two are on the lower, these two are up yep. on top. Yep, yep. Yeah, What's I'll go towards movement? the ones on on the lower. What's your movement? Uh, 60 feet with the dash. Right. While she's running, it's just rock and roll! That gets you right in the face of the net spider, if you like. Hell yeah. Uh, what? Yes, I will. I will attack with my dagger. Uh, I just I realized just I don't have sneak attack. <laughs> nope. Uh, short sword, not dagger. But you do Ooh, have that's a, van a natural no. one. No, you have advantage because they have not wit yet in initiative. <gasps> True. Uh, but that was, uh, oh, advantage, yes, yes, advantage, advantage. 17 to hit. 17 hits. And you get critical damage. Yes. Well, sneak attack. Not crit. Because no, they're not crit. surprised. Your assassin feet. Yeah, but they're not surprised. It's only crit when they're surprised. I thought as long as you went first before the initiative. Nope. Uh, I get advantage. If I go before them in initiative. Okay. But it's only crit if they're surprised. Got it. That's a shitty, <laughs> shitty sneak attack roll. Um, nine? You said nine damage? Nine plus five. Fourteen? Oh, so five on top? Got it. Yes. As you reach into the eye, it's such... And, like, this goose kind of splitters out over your hand and stuff. Blech. Yeah. No for funsies. Give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, yes. 16. As you're, thankfully, you're, invis I think you have the invisible gloves, do you? Or is that something, a different character? That must be a different character. Oh, all right. The gloves in your hand, uh, it starts burning, but you're able to rip off the gloves real quick before they... Starts burning to your hand for poison damage. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right. It's their turn. The one you Does just... Does Levna need to go? Does Levna need to go? No. Okay. Uh, Levna, it was... the oh, She's got to get to the combat. So I teased her with Rickle Deuce coming over for her turn. She's... It's going to take her a little bit to get there because she's coming. Oh, I was just assuming that was the name of this adventurer in the middle. No, it is not. Oh. Who's Lebnon? Exactly. <laughs> uh, well, she can find us now for the symbol yeah. in the sky. The symbol in the sky will help. All righty. Uh, so the spider... Is 
is going to actually since you're in combat with it, he's going to make a bite attack on you. Carry, which would probably miss with a eight. Miss. That misses. Hey, <laughs> stop that. Uh, uh, I'm going to try to the one bah is going to move up. One second, one more. Uh, Can I opportunity attack it? You do. As it comes yeah. running by, and he's going to make an attack, a web attack on Dashton. 17 to hit. 17 hits. Seven damage. No sneak okay. attack. Seven damage. Got it. Still some damage as you crack at its legs a little bit. It's done with a little bit, but it keeps on going as it shoots a webbing out to Dashton. Does Dashton does a uh, 17 hit you? It does. It does. All right. I'm going to. You are restrained. Um. Yeah, the webbing, as it launches out the webbing, the webbing goes around you, and you have the restrained effect on you. And restrained means your speed is zero. You have disadvantage on attacks, debt saves, and incoming attacks have advantage. So it's the worst one for you. Um, uh you can use your action to make a strength check to see if you can bust out of the webbing on your turn. Okay? I'll be that. All right. Uh, you can also, in turn, uh, attack the webbing as well. But you have disadvantage on that, I think. Right? Yeah, you have disadvantage on your attacks. But you can, in turn, try to attack the webbing also. All right, that one was that's turn. See if he has. Yep, that hits. Comes up and bites the guy. That's five points of damage. He takes. And he has to make a con save. He got a natural 11. Should be good enough. Just double check. He's got a plus one to con, so he's good there. So he does not. Uh, okay, so it's a half as much. It only takes half damage. Lovely. Did not want to kill this NPC right away, but oh, well, this is what was happening. That's 10, so he takes five points of poison damage. He is not looking good already. Vera, this old one's gonna come up and shoot a web at you. A natural 19 for a total of 24. Does that hit you, Vera? Shield. Shield? Yep. Dashing, as you're sitting there with the webbing all around you and you corner eye and your perceptual is like you can barely move your head at this moment and you see another webbing go over your head with your peripherals and you just see this magical shield appear around Vera next to you and it just bounces off and splats against the wall. Don't worry, you'll learn eventually. Mela, you're up. 
Now you're just showing off. Am I within 60 feet of the spider that just shot at Vera? 60 feet? Yeah. Yes, you are. You're about 50, 55 feet from it. Right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast Spiritual Weapon at it <laughs> and see if I can attack it. Twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four hits. And ten damage on that. Ooh, very nice. So that's that one, that one, that one. Very nice. As you uh, bring out your magical mace, it cracks down onto it, like crushing like two of its legs. Just like <laughs> Starts hissing cool. at you. <laughs> right. Um, okay, and the one that attacked the guy on the top of my within. Ooh, actually, I can't do that. Never mind. <laughs> You're in 60 feet of him, though. If you want to uh, do here. Because he's looking fucked up after that. Um, let's see. Like, if he didn't make his con save, he might be down right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I do a can trip after I cast a spell, or no? Yes, you can do a can trip, yes. All right. If it's a so bonus action. A... Oh, no, actually, you know, your spiritual weapon was a bonus session, so yes, you can do a can trip. Okay, excellent. Um, I'm going to try um, and cast Toll the Dead on the spider that attacked him. And that is what save? Wisdom save. All the a sixteen. Blast. Okay. <laughs> he makes it. Yeah. He doesn't have any negatives to it, but he doesn't have any positives, so it's just a straight roll and I got a natural sixteen. Sorry. Yeah. Good so thing that's to... I guess that's my turn then. All right. He looks on it. Y'all, uh, run! And do you have disengage, sir? You're not. No, he's gonna. He's gonna take his long. Can you use bow. disengage as an action. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Uses disengage to run. He is running. Who is this guy? Why did we decide to save him? Dash him, Vera. As you're standing there, even though Dash and you're restrained and you just use your shield, you feel the ground underneath start crumbling, vibrating. And I need y'all to make dexterity saving throws. Dash and you make with disadvantage. You get a plus five because of my aura. Nineteen. Nineteen, so you're only gonna take half damage. Uh Vera, you get launched back. You land hard on your knees. And you take five points of bludgeoning damage. Dashing, what'd you get? I rolled a 15 plus the five from her aura makes it a 20. 20. Very nice. So you take five points of bludgeoning damage too. And it, you're no longer restrained as you get shoved off to the right. As busting out in the ground. 
Ooh, that's cool. This big purple worm. Yeah. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. As it bites into the spider in front of it. I teased him for so long, I wanted to include him. Oh, yeah, that's a 24 to hit. I'm not even bother rolling this hit die on this guy because he's going to be obliterated, I think. Let's just, for funsies, let's see if, unless I roll net ones. Oh, yeah, that is 13, 18 points of damage alone. As you see, the worm pop up, one swell move, gobble up the spider and eat it. Let's turn this attention to this other spider up here for its second attack with the stinger. That is a 23. Not great. 11 plus 9. That is 20. 20 points of damage to that one. And it's got to make a con save. What is your con there? You get a plus 1. It fails. Y'all resistant? No, your guys are... Jesus, you're not. You do poison, but you're not resistant to poison? 12d6. I'm not even going to roll it. I'm not even going to roll it. This spider melts. After the stinger goes in, it shoots into the side and combusts in like a disintegrating of poison from the spider. That is his turn. Top of the round, Ziggy. As you see this monster purple worm bust out of the ground. Kill two spiders right in front. Well, I had a plan. <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> you want to move your uh, hunter's mark on it? <laughs> um, no, I... Um... <clears throat> I'm be like, oh, uh, guys, I think we might need to run for our lives here. Uh, I've read about these things. They eat much more than just spiders. Um, I'm going to move as far south on the board as I can, like kind of away from the purple worm. Uh, I'm still trying to flank uh, the thing. Uh, our friend there, can I, can I see him? Uh, he's running away, so... But there is a stairs you can run up to see him, or you can just move south. You can see like the top half of his back, kind of like running. Okay. And you heard him say "run," and now you're probably gathering why he said "run." Yeah. So you want to um, move south? Yeah, I'm going to move south as far as I can, like full movement. I'm moving away from the purple worm. Uh, trying to, uh... Sorry, guess you're about right there. Maybe. Yeah. Um... I guess that... <laughs> well, uh, one of my plans was to target that guy with a healing arrow. Can I see him enough to do that? Moving there, though, if, if if you want to do that before you move, you can. But moving there, now the spider's blocking your sight. 
Um, I'll just Hunter's Mark that spider and I'll take, uh, I'll attack it. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to try to kill some spiders as we're running away from a worm. Maybe I'll, if I kill the spider with the first attack, dude, would I have the option of throwing him a healing arrow? It's two attacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, let's see how I do with this. Uh, 23 hits. 23 does hit. All right. We did 12 plus uh, 18 points of damage. Uh, 18 points of damage. So that one, that one. That one. You still up, but barely. Uh, okay. Well, I'll just shoot him a second time, and I'll call that good, and I'll let the rest of you figure out what to do with a purple worm. Actually, no, that actually kills it. That actually kills it. Oh, okay. Well. I got my spiders mixed up. Okay. So, so as that. It had 16 health the first one, so you're able to kill it. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, as that spider explodes, I then immediately, like, you know, as its guts are falling, I'm shooting a healing arrow through it, through that area, to try to hit this guy with a healing arrow. You got it. Um, which I believe the curative arrow just hits. It automatically hits yeah, him he does if hit. I can see yeah. him within 150. Okay. Yeah. And so he gets his uh, a hit die plus three. So he gets nine hit points back. Very nice. Because I'm almost bet the mats. As the hit die goes into a... Oh, you hear him say, Oh, shit! That hurt, but I liked it. Uh, happy to help. And I think that's all I can do. I didn't... I used my bonus action already, so I guess Stardust just hangs out. I don't use that guy as well as I should. Oh, well. Carry. On the other side of the uh, forge, you see coming around the bed, this individual full salamit plate armor with a rose on the chest with uh, drake horns coming out of the helmet. She has a scar from like right under the eye down the side of her cheek to her uh, jawbone. And she runs in. I got this one. Save the others and run. She runs up behind the spider. Since you are considered an ally, she has pat tat tits. Oh, yeah, that is a 17 that's going to hit. She has this massive great sword, so uh, it's 13, 13 slashing damage. Uh,. Her second attack. A natural 19. That's 11 plus 3. That is 14 points of damage as she cuts through the back half. It slices in half, folds out, and seeing the inner insets of, of the. Um, What's the type of bone the insets have? Um, damn, I think what's. Huh? The exoskeleton? Exoskeleton, thank you. You ah. see the exoskeleton bust open, rise open, and she slides down and she's like, she gives you a nod. Run! She says, by the way, Becklin says hi. Uh, Vera, you're up. Dashing your own deck. Uh, giant worm, giant worm, giant worm. Um, I'm going to probably to 
freaked out to think of it in my head telepathically give him the command, so I'm gonna yell at Hydrant. Hydrant, run that way! Just run! Um. Oh, uh, I, and... I totally forgot about Kenna. Kenna would be like, I wanna touch it! That's so cool! I wanna touch it! It's so cute! Nope, nope, nope. Hydrant, run! Run that way. Ignore her. Keep going that way. So, you, uh, Hydrant pretty much runs off screen. Yep, yep. <laughs> We, we we can find him later. Um. Uh uh uh. I'm worried about carrying, but she seems to. I might be able to see that from here through the bridge that she has held. Um. No, you cannot see her because you are not past the uh, side of the valley, so you okay. have to move closer to the worm to see. Well, unfortunately, that was the direction I was going because the rest of my troop is that way. So, I'm going to head toward Mela. Toward Mela? Yep. Uh, 20 feet to get you to Mela. And uh, I'm going to uh, focus my energy into uh, my necklace and call on Freya and then use my um, channel divinity on this thing. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see the lightning crackle and then the thunder strike and hit Does this that say, right? thing. Believe so. I roll a two minus two for zero. Right, so he'll be taking full I don't know how something like that is knocked prone. It wouldn't be. <laughs> okay, immune to prone. I thought so. Because it's kind of like half into the ground. Yeah, he's like in the ground, so that makes that makes more sense. Let me roll the damage first. He is deafened now, though, if that matters. He won't be able Man. to hear us. That was what I was going for. Um, that's 14. Why am I just rolling twos and threes? That's both, that's all uh, 14 thunder and lightning? Both. Yep. That was both of them. 14 total. Is it crackles? Uh, I'll give you this. So the worm goes and then lets out a Let's go. Uh, you still got 10, 10 forward feet of movement. God, that hurt. <coughs> um, I'm good where I'm at at the moment. Okay. Where I can Dash in. help me. Well. You're up. You got slung back. The webbing broke from this impact. You pretty much landed hard on your knees. You took five points of bludgeoning damage. You just saw some thundering and lightning crackle over top of this uh, worm, and it gave out this awful screeching sound what do you do uh first i gotta do some dm stuff for you uh one do i do we i, I want to try and gather any just some details that i can about this uh this worm uh whether it's history of these sorts of things i just need to know some basics like Give me a history check Ten. It's a bit fucking worm, bro. <laughs> and it's purple. <laughs> Good. Spiky. <clears throat> All right then. Well, uh, I will give you this. Uh, you do know it has blind sight. With your ten, I'll give you that much. Mm. And it's deafened currently, so. Is unless she's, unless thing? Vera shouted out, is deafened. Oh, fudge, fine. Okay, well, uh, then what I probably do is not knowing it's deafened, I'm gonna cast my give me, illusion. Give me, a, give me a general intelligence check and add your proficiency. Well, see, I'm not very smart. <laughs> uh, 
Where is intelligence? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a saving throw. Just a check at the top. Yeah, yeah, just a check and just add your proficiency mark. Woo! I think it's three. 19. Uh, now zero. All right, so with it screeching and all that, uh, way it whims in, you get the feeling it might be deafened because you seem it's disoriented at the least. Yeah, yeah, it's very much, yeah. Gotcha, baller. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Uh, well, we've got the guitar out. We're ready to to rock this. We've got to. Um, he starts to strum to a different tune, and uh, he coming Jesus out of pants. the uh, <laughs> <laughs> out of the uh, end of his lute uh, fires Eldritch Blast. Nice. It is for a nineteen. 19. I think you have. No, it's, a, no, it's your first level, so you only have one bolt or two. Do you have two? It's it. Um, on the description of it, it says total beams two. Yeah, but... so you get two attacks with Eldritch Blast. And this is the first time you're casting Eldritch Blast. So, what does it look like for everybody? As he's playing on the guitar, I, I feel like um, <clears throat> you see a uh, kind of a a blue enigma start to glow off of the off of the loot and then he just kind of feeling it and he's able to just chat channel it excuse me and he launches a shot off the tip of his uh the end of his loot that shoots out not so much like cracking lightning but more like water that happens to be flowing and spinning and as as that happens that's uh that, that's that's what it looks like Vera, and give me a what's your passive? Will you give me a perception check? Nineteen. You, you see within this water that he casts a little shimmer of a golden blue energy weaved into it as he's releasing this. And it kind of is very similar to the way Mela cast her spells. Got a little I'm going to look at Mela because I totally don't think he did that then. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what was the hit? 19. 19 hits? Go and roll your second beam too. Second one to hit is... Also 19. Very nice. So roll damage for both of them. First one deals nine. Second one deals seven for 16 total damage. Nice. I should crash in. <laughs> and Dashing, as you release his, he starts going straight up. Starts like stretching out to be more more like a tree straight up in the air the proper term is erect but i see why you did it i didn't want to say that but you had to <laughs> say. go ahead carrie and do you want to move uh yeah and uh i still also continuing the bonus action um bardic inspiration um okay gonna pick the nearest in proximity to me which appears to be uh well vera just noticed the ability so uh, Vera still has perception. not used her bardic inspiration yet either, so she still has the first one. Well, the first one I gave to Carrie. Yeah, it was mine. Oh, yeah, you gave it to Carrie. You're right. Yep. So Vera will get this one, and uh, yeah, I want to take a few hops or runs. I, I want to run up the side of the hill there by... Uh... Is that a spectral weapon? I I'm not sure what yeah. the clear... Okay, yeah, yeah that's that's yeah, kind that, of the direction Mayla's, I'm going. That's Mayla's spectral weapon. Yep. Uh, what's your movement? 30 30 reaches 10 foot all right i will say you get to the top here oh bring bring it to the let's let's oh okay there's steps that way all right all right all right yeah, carry on steps. carry on i will say if you want to continue you have 10 more feet of move if you're going to continue you'll get an opportunity attack from the worm i i'll hold there then so I guess as I got to that point of the step, it started to kind of sense me there. So I, I will do this for you halted. with with the deafened. And what you did, I'll have the worm have disadvantage. 
if you want. I'm, I'm still fine to, to sit there, just right there. And like I said, we kind of getting a little nervous about being so close to it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Carrie. So this mysterious badass knight has just arrived, decimated this spider, told me to get the others and run. Carrie interprets that as be a distraction and let the others run. So she is going to teleport up 30 feet to yeah, the yeah. northern side. Can't see on the battle map. But you're right here, so do you want to go up here on top of the ledge? Uh, more onto the plateau. So you yep. have to see where you're going, so I'd say you probably can see it on the edges. Yeah, yeah, on the edges, fine, yep. Okay. You want to go there? Here? Yeah, perfect. Mm hmm. <laughs> And you not teleport. knowing it's deafened, she's gonna yell, Come and get me, you big sack of shit piece of worm! And do a short bow attack. With advantage, because the Kaganesti forest thing lets me have a advantage attack you're on the turn after I move, teleport. You're probably gonna have to move up a little bit more because you do have the structure here kind of blocking your sight. Actually, no. Okay, yes. Kinda, it, no, actually, you can shoot up at it, so never mind, you're fine. Okay. Uh, I forgot. Either or, I can move rat. or... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's a 17 to hit. Oh, Nat, mm, I'm going to use my uh, Bardic Inspiration. Was that D8? Yes. Yes. I think, Dash, can you give a D8 for your Bardic Inspiration, or is it D6 still? Checking. I'm going to it. Uh, D8. Okay, D8, D8, sweet. Uh... uh 19. I think that hits. 19 hits? Awesome. And sneak attack, because that was advantage. <laughs> Why am I rolling minimum damage? Okay, 5 plus 16. So, 21? 21 points of damage. Nice hit. Mm. As you use your shroud to peer up and you release up, as it's like shaking and it's full of rats, you know, you get... I just have to say it now because we already said it. And the arrow goes right underneath this uh, tan underneath. And he goes. Ah! Then we're just going to fucking run the other direction. <coughs> yeah, 30 feet, right? Yep. There he is, you felt right there. Mm hmm. That's me. Alright, uh, all these fucking spiders are dead already. Uh, Mela, you're up. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna move my spiritual weapon. Um, and I'm zip within. I think it needs to be 30. Let me check. You can move it 20. Yeah, up to but 20. So, is it is, close uh, to. Thankfully, this worm is a gargantuan creature, so you don't have to move it very far. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can hit it. <laughs> Go right ahead. Let's see. Wow. Does a 10 hit? <laughs> no, it does not. As the worm is shaking from uh, Kiri's hit, it, as you try to swing in, it just kind of bounces off the hard hide. Right. Uh... Then I'm going to go ahead and try and do Toll the Dead on it as well. Uh, so it needs to make a wisdom save. Oh, man. Wisdom? Minus. Yes. Oh, no, Ashley has a plus, so that is 11. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> and it has second damage, so you get a little extra bit of damage. Yeah, it takes five. <laughs> oh, five. Nice. Yeah. Uh, where and... would you like to go? 
Um, I'm sorry, you're on the other side. Run! I, run! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna run to where... Um, I can see Ziggy, so I guess I'm gonna head in that direction. You can see Ziggy from where you're at, but you're just gonna run towards him? Yeah. Yeah, 30 feet. E. 30. 30 gets you about right there. Alright, well, that's my turn. Got it. He sells. Hey, y'all! That's what! As the worm shoots down into the ground. Ziggy, you get an opportunity attack. And then when you do that, I'm also going to have you make me a dexterity saving throw. Okay, so opportunity Not attack. Not Ziggy, I'm sorry. Uh, Dashin, Dashin, oh. I'm sorry. Dashin. Okay. I don't know why I, don't know why I said Ziggy, but Dashin. Because you were right there. As uh, much as I love it, I don't have a weapon equipped. I've got my loot out, so you get you get a free uh, object interaction. Okay, smack him with the loot. Yeah, you can do that too. It's just how you break an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So I can use my uh, trident here. Yeah, because uh, object interaction. Uh, you get one free object, or not object, uh, web, like swap out. You can do it once. And you have not done it this turn, so. Oof. I rolled a 12. 12 misses. As it comes down, it just kind of shoots out a little bit too quick, and you just swing at the air. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Natural 20. 26. Very nice. As it shoots down, you feel the plateau that you're standing on starts crumbling and falling, and you're able to jump to the side before it falls down and crumbles to the ground. And shit, 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 shit. Levna's going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, I'm going to need Levna and Carrie to make me dexterity saving throws. Oh, he's coming. 22. You take half damage, so you take four. Levna so I take four. none because evasion. <laughs> As she comes up, you, you feel... You feel yourself slipping off the side as it rumbles and starts giving way where you're at. But you're able to grab the post above you and keep yourself uh, on top. But Lemna gets shot against the wall over here and is not prone. She rolled a natural fucking two. Ugh. Comes back up here. Oh, hi! Um, it's going to make two of his tats, one against uh, Levna and one against you. The bite on Levna is going to be with advantage because she is prone. A natural three and a natural four. So that is going to miss. Yep, that's going to miss. Barely misses. And then the tail is going to come up. Shoot at you, Carrie. Does a 22 hit? Oh, yes. All right. Shield. You have shield? Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is 
14 points of piercing damage, and I need a constitution saving throw. 14 damage, constitution saving throw. 18? That fails. Mm hmm. You take 46 points of poison damage. Oh, mama! Still up! As the <laughs> pulses through, your skin starts turning this ugly, dark, ugly green as it goes through you. I'm turning into a goblin! And as she shreds off, you feel your insides turning to mush. Oh, this is a very not comfortable sensation. Top of the round, Ziggy, you're up. <laughs> uh, gosh. Am I like on a peninsula or something? We're surrounded by water? Uh, what? No, so Are this we... is this is simulate the flooding was coming in. Okay. Yeah, there's land all around, just there's not yes. enough little land bits. <laughs> I the get the it. battle I screen for the stream is more accurate. Because I didn't have enough to put a whole lot around. So it's just this is like you have land all around you, just kinda like water weaving through the cracks of the ground. That's all All right, is. can I with the thirty movement get up on top of this ridge so where I can see the worm? Sure enough, you can get to, you can take the steps, and you can easily, it's a little bit of hard, just give me a dexterity check. Unless you have climbing speed, which I don't think you do. I mean, I have, uh, there's a ranger trait I have that is basically, you, you climb super well. Like, I have a climbing speed and a swimming speed equal to my walking speed. Uh, so you, you don't even have to do it, you can climb right on up, so. Yeah. Uh, you still have about 10 movement if you want to get there. Okay. Well, uh, I think this is a ridiculous exercise and we're all going to die, but I'm going to Hunter's Mark that purple worm. Uh, oh, I forgot. First, I was going to get out my thumper, put it in some drum sand. Um, oh, but it's deafened, so that wouldn't work anyway. It's no longer deafened. That lasted around. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I have a thumper anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to shoot it a bunch. Um, is it too late to have uh, Stardust kind of walk towards me so I can take advantage of being infused? Well, he goes after you, so... Oh, okay. Um, all right. I will wonder where the page that I have my character on. There we go. But uh, Stardust has a flying speed too, so you're right. Um, can I just uh, like? Uh, I mean, it's an action to give him a command. So does Stardust just stand there until, or a bonus action? Does he just stand there until I do that? It, it takes an action to give him a command, right? So you got to tell him to a move. bonus action. Yeah, yeah, you got to tell him to move. I think. Um, all right. Well, I'll just go. I'm just going to shoot the worm a bunch. Um, attack. I rolled a 14. 14 misses. All righty. Uh, glanced off that good purple worm armor. And let's see. I rolled a 25 for the next one. 25 hits. All right. I'm going to roll my damages. I got a three. I'm going to try to re-roll that. Y'all should use your rewards, guys. Right. Five. Oh, good idea. Um, We did... How much? Uh, 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 14 points of damage with the second attack. As you release yeah. the arrow, it's just shooting into it, and it's, as it just like is hovering over Levna, as the tail comes up and spites Carrie 
And Carrie's looking pretty rough. But right. uh, that was your action, bonus action, and movement. Yep. Right. And I'm just going to shout, guys, what are we doing? We should be running. All right. All right. Levna is going to get up. She's going to stand up and say, Oh, bloody hell. Get the hell out of here. I have this. And it's going to make technically. Oh, no. Is the FP within five feet of her? So she gets pat tap this with this. Nat two natural 19s. Uh, second attack, I wouldn't do that one too. Ooh, this one might not hit. Oh, uh, 17 will miss. That just misses. Drats. That's seven, nine points of damage. And do, 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 do. she is going to stand there, Vera, and dash in your own deck. Am I able to see this uh, warrior now that I had not seen before? Yes. And she's wearing salaminate armor. Oh. I'm running that way. I got That's 30 feet. And then I will bonus action Misty Step. Another 30 feet. Thirty gets you like right here. Right yep. What is that? Get you 10 feet from her and 15 feet from the creature. Is that, oh, no, that's a. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I am going to cast Vicious Mockery. That's Though cool. he's not. Yeah, it's a wisdom save. Does he, he doesn't have... need to understand me, but I'm just cursing up a storm. It's like. Big, stupid, purple dick. No one asked for you. Go away. Does he have to hear you? Yes. But you said he was no longer deafened. He does not need to understand me, but he does have to hear me. So... Well, I'm reading on this, it doesn't hear anyway. He has timber. I was about to say, but I don't know if he can hear anyway, so. No. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you get no response from him. Well, I wasn't really expecting him to reply. <laughs> 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 I'd be really creeped out if he was, but that's the only thing I can do because I don't have anything range. So that is my turn. Got it. Uh, Dashin, you're up. Carrie, you're on deck. How does the worm look right now? I'm Basically, I'm just trying to gauge its health. You know, so is it is it tattered at all? Is it it's, aggravated that it's, we're there? It's a little beat up. It's a little beat up. It's starting to show some wear and tear. <laughs> Not quite in the bloody area, but he's looking pretty rough. I hope I have the distance for it. <clears throat> and I'm I'm not afraid anymore. Um he's uh I want to <clears throat> run up to the to the overhang, the the one section of the map that is like a bridge. Yeah. 
I want to run to the top of it or just the, the closest high elevation. Yep. Yep. And my objective is I, I want to leap off of this. Is it, uh, do I have movement left over to, to leap? I'll give you five feet. Okay. I would like to leap. And as that has put me into falling, I want to reaction feather fall myself. Okay. Um, and I've still got my trident out from when I took an attack at it as it withdrew. Mm -hmm. So I want to jump through the air with the trident overhead at it and attack. What is your strength modifier? Zero. My dexterity is plus three. My other DMs, how's jumping work? Strength or dex? It is strength. Um... I think it was five feet per. Um, I mean, I say that it's zero, but it, I mean, it's just, it's 10. And then in the, at the top of my screen, so, 10 plus zero. Yeah. Yeah. So five feet per modifier. So zero modifier. So no extra. Okay. Does feather fall influence this? Can he fall at an angle? <laughs> I mean, he's going to fall at an angle. And he is a gargantuan monster, so I'll say you can still do it. Okay. Instead this? of maybe catching his face, though, I'm catching him more at the base where he's coming out of the hole instead of... If you want to spin your natural 20, I'll allow you to jump off, and I'm assuming you're diving down to hit him with your thing. Yes, that is correct. So you can spin your natural 20, and I'll allow this to happen because it's fucking epic. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. We're jumping, we're going, we're attacking with the Trident of Obedient Depths. Uh, I use my DM's inspiration to reroll that. For what? You don't, you're using your natural 20 for a guaranteed hit. Right, no, I was, oh, 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 okay, okay, cool, yeah, perfect. Roll your damage. All right, perfect. 13. Sure. Um, you know, the trident's prongs go out like any other trident that you've seen. So as he uh, kind of floats, it seems like the jump's in a bit of a slow-mo. He, he catches down to the, to the underbelly of it, I suppose. And he kind of uses the friction. It doesn't penetrate all the way. It's not like stuck in him like a fork. It's more of trying to grip on as it scrapes down. Scrapes down the side as he uh, he lands on the ground next to him. A little bit of blood has started to, in certain places, down the worm's body. How much damage was it? 13? 13. Yeah. Said I was showing off. He landed right in front of me. <laughs> as this purple ooze is starting to peer out, he's not still not quite bloody, but he is really starting to show some on the verge of bursting out as it slides down you fall you, you like feather fall nets to a fully armor salamit knight she has that scar like i said and she looks down at you that was bloody fucking epic and that's what she says is that your turn uh yeah Yes, that will be my turn. Got it. Carrie, yeah. you're up. Uh, Carrie does a similar thing, but nowhere near as epic. Um, she is going to take out her short sword and her dagger, one in each hand, and just Rah! jump onto it and try to stab in with both. So I mean, she's hanging on to the side. He's close enough where you don't even have to jump off. He can just... <laughs> he's a gargantuan worm. It's so cooler you... if she's hanging on, though. <laughs> I'm just saying you don't have to jump off. You can just... She will! <laughs> Got it. Because uh, everyone keeps falling and scaring the crap out of me, I will reaction feather fall her. Because I can do that now. Well, first off, roll to see if you hit. Mm -hmm. uh, is it advantage because people are there? Why would you have advantage? Sorry, that's... Sneak, sneak attack, not advantage. My yeah, bad. sneak attack, yeah, but not advantage. But Ugh, eleven with the short sword. That one misses. Mhm. Mm 
17 with the dagger. You guys have rewards. I don't know why you're not using them. <laughs> 17 still misses as you grow uh, up. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you face plant and start sliding down the worm. Damn very, it! Very fast. Are you going to do feather yeah, fall? I, I will feather fall her. <laughs> I want it to be cool. I'm gonna leave you there because I can't quite fit you down there, and I don't want to. Yeah, you're fine. Tear up, tear up the map. Just imagine you're down there next to the worm. So as you see, Carrie just go, poof, poof, shit, and just start sliding down. <laughs> the hide's a little tougher than you thought. That's me. <laughs> All right, Mela, you're up. Okay. Uh, well, seeing as everyone's left me in the corner over there, um, okay. I, uh, <laughs> did I notice, um, uh, Vera running? Oh, yeah. She ran okay, I, <laughs> I guess we're fighting this thing. Got it. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to head in that direction as well. <sighs> Yeah, run for your lives. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a desire for y'all to run for your lives and then just like run from it, but you know that's fine. This is fine. All right. <sighs> and I'm Favorite guessing I'm within a hundred and. Am I within hundred and twenty feet of the purple worm? Anybody with hundred? Are you one hundred twenty feet? Is that am what I? Saying? Yes. Yeah. Am I? Most definitely. Okay. Cool. Then you're, since it's you're like within sixty feet of him. <laughs> Again, I can't stress this enough. It's a gargantuan creature. Yes. Um, is it still pretty high up? Like, can I see it above the little bridge thing? Honey, you can see. <laughs> well, I don't know. Through I'm the bridge, sure. above the bridge, you can see cool. it. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I want to aim like more like up at it, and I'm gonna cast moonbeam on it. Okay. Um, and it's got to make I mean, a constitution saving throw. Well, way moonbeam words, it doesn't, like, you're looking up at the sky, calling it down, it just comes straight down. So oh, okay, like, well then that's, that's fine. Or you can have it kind of down at an angle too, if you like to, but yeah. It's a con okay. save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's actually really good at those, so. That would be a 27. Okay, then it takes six damage. I'm oh, sorry, 26. Six points of damage. Yeah. Uh, Mela, as this moon being, I give it to you, is now causing it to be bloody. What does it look like when you cast moon being? Uh, she just kind of stretches her one hand out at it and the other cl clenches the, you know, the symbol around her neck um, and suddenly even though it's daytime, um, the silver light just comes and lands on the purple worm. Um, I can shove it in the miniature. <laughs> That's how big it is. Uh, uh, um, and... Any bonus actions? You can move your spiritual weapon 20 feet. Yeah, I guess I'll bring it with me. <laughs> Move it up 20 feet. So it's closer to me. Uh, yeah, that'll be my turn then. Alright. Uh... Y'all just don't know how to give up, do y'all? I, I guess we're doing this. Alright, I guess we are doing this. Right. He turns around with his... Uh, what does he have? His longbow. And make a shot. Natural 19. Three. Uh, five points of piercing damage, which technically would put it. Uh, and he's going to make a second attack. Ooh. 19 just hits. Uh, is eight points of piercing damage, so eight more piercing damage to him. As he turns around... Takes his longbow and just. I guess we gotta get her done. <laughs> and fires two shots. 
I was gonna say, if that fucking guy takes it on the purple one, I'm, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> he was trying to get y'all to run, but he's seeing y'all fighting the thing. He's just like, all right, I guess I'll help. <laughs> all right, uh, the worm. Seeing that you did that, you drew his attention there, Dashin. He's going to come down and try to I tend you. to do that. Uh, shield. Yeah, shield. I do. <laughs> well, I guess I got to let you know if you, what the And Vera is right is. next to me. This is so Ooh. perfect. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry, before you like really attack, um, it has to make another con save. Sorry. Oh, I'll use that one for the con save. All right, that is a 20. All right, takes another six damage. You got it. Uh, that is 27 to hit. Dash it. I don't think shield's going to help that. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, that hits. Yeah, uh, it's twelve. Uh, seventeen points of piercing damage, and I need a dexterity saving throw from you. A dexterity saving throw. Do you get plus five or anything from Vera? I think he's a little too far for me still. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah, it has to be five feet, right? Yeah. 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 What'd you get? I got a 12, but might I use a d4? Is, you have inspiration if you want to re-roll that. And I think he... Oh, no. Yep. No. no, no. If you, you have inspiration if you want to re-roll it, and then you decide to add whatever on top of it. So if you want I to think use I'm your... gonna gamble and just use a, a, a d4 on top of this twelve. Are you sure? DC's I'm telling you. High. I'm telling yeah. you. If you want yeah, to re-roll that, now is the time. All right. Uh, yes, I will. I will burn in my re-roll and my DM's inspiration are the same thing. So it's just one. I don't well, know you have. One. You can do either or, but your DM's inspiration, okay. you could. I will re-roll. I will re-roll. Ten feet, not. It's 10 feet, not 5 feet for me. But I still think he's too far. Okay. I re-rolled. I don't care which one gets consumed. Um, Let's the most do the inspiration because he'll get okay. that back quicker. Yeah, the most logical one. Um, I rolled a 16. Plus and, your and D4. I would like, would like to add a D4 to that. It is three more, so a 19. 19 is what you needed. As he comes down to bite you and he's opening up his wide mouth as he's getting ready to swallow you whole, you get oh. your trident right up to block and keep it from mounting. And as it bites down, it goes. <laughs> and 19 was the save. Congratulations. That was pretty epic. Woo. Are you telling me my, my trident's holding its mouth from closing? Yeah. Oh, baller. I mean, it makes sense. It makes logical sense. Yeah, no, absolutely does. Guys, I, I, I don't know if we can do this one anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, wait, she gets advantage. Uh, oh, wait, it's not her turn yet. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, no, he had, she, oh, yeah, it's, he still is going to use his tail to make an attack on. What is you? Kill me. Attack. Kill me. Uh, a 20, 24 on hits. Levna is going to take, you so want to die. It's so bad. On yeah. 12 points of piercing damage and she must make a con save. Well, that's not good. Oh, I got a plus five for that. A 12, that is not enough, sadly. And she is going to take a lot of fucking damage. 55. Hi, I'm the badass NPC. As 
she comes through. This tail comes up out of the ground and sticks Labna in its like <laughs> Told y'all to run. <sighs> she falls unconscious. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is it's turn Ziggy, you're up. No, no mirror, much is happening. Deck. No, so did I see this, worm. Did I see this NPC fall? Not from your angle, no. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, we're supposed to run away and let her deal with it, but now she's down, and we've got to kill a worm and rescue an NPC now. That's why I ran that way. Yeah. Gotta rescue um, her. <laughs> uh, let's see. He ran up there. That guy is the, the, the first NPC, the little ranger guy. Is he just running... Away no, still, no, he, or? He, he, he shot some arrows. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Um, I believe I will uh, hold position uh, as a bonus action. I'm gonna have um, Stardust fly to me, fly, to or me. actually uh, have Stardust fly in between me and the purple worm, so that he's within infusing range. Um, yeah, good. Uh, and hopefully, uh, and so I'm going to make a first attack on the purple worm. I'm going to use one of my nat 20s, and I'm going to be infusing this attack as well. All right. So that is an automatic hit. Um, rolling damage. I'm going to pierce her stat to re-roll that. Eh. Uh, we did 11 points plus 2 d6's worth. So, 17 points of damage with the first attack. Nice! Uh, and that was infused and everything too. So then I'm just gonna do. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, I'm gonna use one of my. Uh, I'll just use. A, I'm gonna use one of my d6s on this attack roll. Uh, let's see here. So second attack roll. Yeah. I got 14. 14 if misses. Could... Well, I got a D6 that I was going to use. Let's see how oh. this goes. Three. So 17? Misses. God. Um, As a second nice. arrow, even though it's matched with just beans right off the tough part of the hide as you miss the underneath belly. Well, I, I, I was going to say, can I use uh, one of my... The, this, DM's inspiration to re-roll. You can. You also have your DM's inspiration, and you also have a re-roll. Well, I'm going to use the inspiration because that's a one. You know, you yeah. can only get one of those. Yeah, you can re-roll that. Um, yeah, I will re-roll this. Uh, make this worth it. 24. 24. That hits. All right. We got um, 11 plus a D6, so uh, 13 points of damage with the second attack. Very nice. And I'm going to just hold position. Nice. Uh, I'm going to be like, I still think we should have ran. You see the purple ooze of blood just starting to trickle right down, and it's like looking pretty messed up right now. Uh, does your, uh, does your aura, uh, affect saving throws? Yes, it does. All right. It doesn't matter when they roll in that one. <clears throat> That's not good. Kind of made sense with that attack it was on. Vera, you're up. 
I am going to rush up to this purple worm and I'm going to try and hit it. Putting myself between this down soldier and uh, Bastion. I'm going to use my um, knight feet for the precise strike to give myself advantage. Yep. And this will be a level two divine smite if it uh, hits. What I say? Yeah, I don't think you've used any in a while. Not in a while, no, nah, because usually they're like half dead by the time I get up there. <laughs> well, this technically is half dead, but you know. Mm -hmm. 21? 21 hits. Thank God. All right. Oops. Can I stop rolling twos and threes? That's 14. 14. 14. Wait, was that a... Is it, you trying to hit? Uh, no, that was the damage. 14 total? Yes. From your... Even yes. your divine strike? Yep. Divine smite? Really? That was... Oh, really? I didn't do the... Uh, that was the uh, Divine Smite. That wasn't my slashing yet. Oh, all right. What's the slashing? Not that that's really going to do much. To... I'm rolling twos and threes. Okay, adding 10, ten to that, so... Very nice. 24 so... total. All right. Is your second attack? Yep. I will use a Twitch reward. You can tell us too to get rid of another advantage, since I can't do Precise Strike again that was not with advantage i'll just roll twice first 22. roll was 22 second 22. was 11 okay <laughs> 22 hits this time just nine 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 points of damage we gotta change the group name to the fearless few which kind of makes sense <laughs> you, got, you got a bunch of freaking kinder all yeah, right. I can run away. What are you talking about? That um, does sound really I, cool, though. The fearless fear. Oh. Can I tell that he couldn't hear me the last time when I yelled at him? What's your passive intelligence? Not high. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> then uh, Vera would have wasted her bonus I, action. I would say, I would say, you also because you can. <laughs> feel you running up it looks your way so you might be confused by that so she would have wasted her bonus action on a taunt got it it's <laughs> like i'm continuing with what i said before uh it's just purple dick you need to ask permission first jesus christ dash and you're up are we still uh is my trident still holding no, the that... jaws open what, what I was saying is you did that to keep it at, and then when it bites right. down, it took, mm -hmm. it, it released it because, you know, you're poking it. Okay, because it couldn't get any further. Okay. Uh, I am going to begin my turn. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I always tell myself I'm, I'm going to just, <clears throat> just ignore me. Uh, I'm going to begin my turn with uh, casting Armor of Agathis at level three. Armor of Agathis at level three. And that gives me uh, 15 temp hit points. Got it. It is cannon now. And um, for my bonus action, I'm going to, uh, as the, the the frost uh, a bit more intense than the, the previous time you've seen it, now there's a... Uh, I've almost got some pauldrons that are that kind of look like they're made of ice. Uh, maybe maybe a, a belt that's a little thicker than a normal belt would be. Um, and I'm still holding my trident, so I suppose that I will uh, I will bardic inspiration uh, play a quick a quick tune for. Let's see, where is everybody? Carrie's used hers. Vera hasn't used hers. Is that right? Right. I forgot I had it again. Let me write that down. I understand. 
And Ziggy's off in the distance. Yeah, and Mila Ziggy, yeah. is behind us as well. Yeah. About you can 30, see Mayla, So you can you so you can see Mela, you can see Vera, and you can also see Carrie because she's down there with you. The people you cannot see is the other NPC and Ziggy. And of course you have uh the other NPC down. Um, so I kind of want to sing on this one. I don't have any words made up, but, uh, can I like just yep, pretend we're using my lute instead of the flute? Because I can't really sing while I'm playing. Well, it's an part, instrument actually it's a now. part of your, it's a part of your, uh, uh, trident. So. Right. But I'm saying it, I don't want to have to unequip and re-equip a lute, but I can't well, just... sing if I'm playing. Well, you can flute, use your trident. You, know, you, know, you can. I'm saying I, because it's a trident. Yeah. It, it's I would have to be blowing to make the music, so I couldn't be singing. Yeah, well, go ahead. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I don't have words for it, but uh, the, mm. we can say you have the attached <laughs> like around the neck. What's the? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's the? Uh, What's the what's the tune that we're going for in this battle? Uh, something upbeat. Um, I got gotcha. you. Uh, I don't want to do that. That's a straight rip off. Ah, I don't sing. I play the music on my flute, and we just let it go. But I want to equip it. my lute for next time. Got it. Um, the inspiration is uh, is gonna go to to uh, Carrie, who's down in the valley with us yeah carrie you're up okay avoiding the moonbeam yeah you're not in the I... moonbeam yep i am going to try again to hit it's tough tough hide 24 24 hits that's better and I get sneak attack because there's friendlies around. 25 damage. Woo! Nice! And, and offhand. Uh, 21 to hit. 21 hits. That is... One point of damage. Nice. As you stab it into blood, the, the blood purple ooze blood I don't know what it would have it just kind of crimples down and you die see, you see your blade just steaming from the poison on it not exactly melting but you know yeah is that your turn you stay in there mm -hmm. all the spiders yeah, stay in there. die yep. quickly melee you're up and then uh uh I like to try <laughs> and run up 30 feet as close as I can to the fallen NPC. 30? 30 is right there, right under the bridge. You're, <sighs> you're about 15 feet from her. Okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and just cast... Um, healing word on her. Got it. And she gets five HP back. Nice. Oh, oh I have five damage. <laughs> there we go. As the warm, what does it look like when you cast it? Um, I again clutch. Uh, my symbol around my neck and I just kind of like yell at her <laughs> oh, oh, get, get better <laughs> and then you just sort of see a healing energy around her a little bit um, that warm glow that usually accompanies my magic uh, uh, yeah. bloody hell that fucking hurt thank you uh, little Kimba girl <laughs> We'll introduce uh, each other in a minute. Right. Kill good. that thing! 
Uh, <laughs> can I try uh, and do Toll the Dead on the worm again? Toll the Dead as a wisdom, right? Yes. A natural four for a total of eight. Okay. I'm assuming that fails. Let's see. Yes. And ten uh, damage. Damn. Ten necrotic. Yeah. Very nice. That's not bad at all. I've already rolled the attacks. Or is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. I've already rolled the attacks for this. The other one, one was a miss, one was a hit. So that is one of these. Minimum damage, three points of piercing damage. As he just released one, just clings off the hide, and the other one gets right up underneath the hide, right up under one of the spikes. It's his turn, the worm, so it has to make a con save for your moonbeam. Yeah. That is uh, 26. Okay. It gets half of 19. Which is 8. Is that right? My mathy mathy? Or... That'd be 9. Oh, 9, because we round up. Oh, that 9 is actually half. Yeah, you're right. 10 would be the rounded up half. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So, 19 as this searing. I'm just going to roll a general intelligence check. It's probably not going to do any good. Ooh. No, it has a one intelligence. It's not fucking moving. Um, so now it's in a fight for its life. It's not smart enough to move out of the freaking... Moonbeam. Here you came up. It's gonna try to attack you with a bite. Does a twenty-seven hit? Oh, you think you're real funny, don't you? Vera, Vera. Did I say Carrie again? I meant Vera. You said Carrie. I'm sorry, Vera. Twenty-seven. Does that hit? Yes. Alrighty. That is, uh, seven, 18 points of piercing damage, and I need a dexterity saving throw from you. Can I use my D, uh, my Bardic Inspiration on that? Yep. Uh, Dash, and does Bardic Inspiration work on any rolls? Does it work on saves? Pretty sure it works on saves. One of them it doesn't work on, and I don't remember which one it was. I think it's damage rolls it doesn't work on. Yeah. Yeah. You're muted, Dash. Sorry. Ability checks, attack rolls, saving throws. It's all right. Uh, 19. 19 is just enough to get it. And as Yik tries to back down on you, you get your shield up and it just uh, you take your damage, you put your shield, you're able to bash his teeth away from trying to swallow you. So lucky. Mm -hmm. And then the tail attack is going to come up and go for dashing. Dashing. You... Actually, no. It's going after Kiri because Kiri, you did the most damage. I was so... gonna say I did twenty-six damage. You're right. I, I just remembered. So does a twenty-five hit? Oh yeah. That is fourteen. Twenty-three points of piercing damage. Yep, I'm down. You automatically feel. Well, I'm not. It's all part of the same. So. I'm not Where gonna... was she exactly on Behind. the map? Because I know you didn't put Far her. Far away from you. Okay. On the, on the other side. I was gonna sentinel attack it, and I'm like, I don't know if she's close enough for it to count. Yeah. 
So would that be two failures or one failure? No failures. On the You're death save. Down. You're just down. Yeah, but I take the poison damage, no? It's part of the same attack, so I'm not going to have a set. It's part of... Meh. It's, <laughs> you oh, you no, really want to die. I can huh? actually still sit on attack. character lined up. Oh, my camera died. Uh oh. I can actually still sentinel attack it. She doesn't have to be close. The target has to be close. If okay. it attacks anything other than me, hey, one of my go companions. Ahead. Go ahead. You're going to divine smite it. Ah. Uh, if I. Do I have another spell slot left? I do have another level two. I will try to divine smite it if I can hit it. Yeah, and that's another d10 because it's a level two, right? It's an extra d10. It's a D8 for me. Or D8, I'm sorry. But D10 yes. D10 is your... Oh, where am I getting D10 from? I don't know. It, I mean, if I was not using... Definitely did not hit. Do you want to use a reroll? Are you Do working have... off your... You, did you use your inspiration? You used your inspiration, so... I did not use my inspiration. I used Bardic Inspiration. So you have a reroll, and you also have a natural 20. So if you want to use your reroll and use your natural 20, you can do that. I will use my natural 20. And a reroll? Yes. Sorry. I'm trying to get the... They need to have just like a button for the Divine Smite. I gotta play with it every time. Dice I could, but I'm even suckier with that. See, now I did a level two last time and it wasn't that high. And I had an extra D8 with my um right, precise so... strike. Uh so 18 points of damage. Total and it can't move. Yes. And it can't move, but So uh... 18 was your divine smite. What about your regular damage? Oh. Great. I was about to say. Um, ten more. Good, because <laughs> at nineteen hit points, if so if you're only gonna do eighteen, oh. you was gonna live by one. So how would you like to do this? I just saw Cherry go down again after cowbunging off, basically doing a Bellroom impression. So I'm kind of very annoyed. Uh I'm going to, if I can is Jackson's, um, trident still stuck in it? No, I use that as flavor of him stopping from being bitten and he released because the trident went into the mouth as he was All trying right. to close. Okay. And I'm just going to, I'm really, really tiny. So I was going to use that as a pull up, but I'm just going to go straight for, uh, the head as much as I can reach my tiny self. As you find the cut open slots of this damage this worm has been taking, you find in uh, Dashin, you see this and carry, or actually carry you down. But Dashin, you see this. Melee, you see this. You don't mind me taking air to control on this. As you dive through the cut, you go completely through the worm out the other side, covered in. Give me a con check. Just for fun. Sorry, I was erasing my rewards. Fifteen. Oh, very nice. Uh, have you take you know for funsies uh, six poison damage as you cut the gland at keeping it alive as it falls down with that and you're covered in, in this the remnants of the guts of this worm. Mm. And with that, mm. I was suspecting y'all to run away, so let's just go ahead and take a break. And we'll be right back, guys. I was only serving as a distraction. I expected everyone else to run away, and then I would... Welcome ah. back. Congratulations, guys. You killed a giant purple worm. As the dust settles. Uh, K. 
carry is on death saving throw, so I'll roll for one round for carry. All right. This would have been Ziggy. You could probably run up and shoot her with a arrow. I'm assuming. You're in this uh, so. If uh, did we kill the worm? Yeah, the worm is dead. Whoa. You totally missed the whole part where I narrated that she cut through him in the middle. Yeah, she went through it with a final swing and cut straight through its open wound to come out the backside. That's intense. Yeah. Uh, yes, I remember that. I just didn't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, am I the best choice for like healing and stuff? Well, but I'm just it, saying you're Ness up on initiative because we do oh, have okay. carry. Yeah, we do have carry. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to shoot carry. Uh, with one and probably the NPC with another. Okay. Uh, Levna, you have. And that's hit die plus three. Plus three, so seven healing. And then, uh, Carrie, you can roll your hit die and get a plus three and give me a con check for coming back up. Levina gets up and she's like, Oh, bloody hell. I thought for sure we were dead. Give me one second, let me catch. Huh? Six. Six, okay. Give me one second, let me catch my breath, and she's going to use second wind. Yeah. I'm tired of goop. Am I still green? 14. No. That was more just kind of nerd. She gets 14 yeah. hit points back. I mean, oh, damn it. That. And then how much health did you give Ziggy? It was, oh, that's four. So it was seven. Never mind. Got it. So yeah, she did her second win. She's still not great, but she's like, holy shit. I took a while to find you guys. And then the uh, other ones. My, y'all, uh, y'all did a really good job. I, I didn't think y'all, uh, you, um, where'd you come from? My name is Kleistron. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we really saved your ass there, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all sure enough did. I'm so Levna. who are you people? Exactly. Oh, what'd you get for your con save, Carrie? Six? Six. You take a little exhaustion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Dustin helps Carrie to stand up back to her feet as uh, as the other characters are say, asking these questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> as he picks her up, he'll, he'll say, um, well, we're the goddamn favored few. And he kind of smiles as he picks her up. That's right. Looks like y'all should be the fearless few. Gosh. Oh, that sounds really cool. That does sound really cool. Yeah. Y'all don't listen. I told y'all to. I told y'all to run. I had this. You really? I think you, you were the first this. one down. You were immediately thrown against a wall and then downed. Uh, we just healed you, like back to like standing. And I appreciate that, but uh. It's my duty. I was trying to get y'all safe. I was gonna. You didn't have it though. <laughs> to to be fair, to be fair, um, I was uh going to distract him long enough for y'all to get away, and then I would run myself. Oh, that's what I was trying to do, but then everyone else joined in too. We're good friends, buddies, I guess. Communication. Uh. Anyway, uh, Beckon says hi. She sent me, so I'm here to help. 
So Becklin sent you. Were you with the army? Because Becklin's back in the city, isn't she? I know. She sent a, a gift for Vera. And I brought it. And then uh, when they said the army's just running, running around the ridge, so we can probably head back there. Sounds like a good idea, Vera. Who are you exactly? I am Levna Dracon. Sir? Or the Rose. Sir, yes. As you are clearly your sir now, too. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, pleasure to meet you. Um, what yeah, order are uh, you? Order of the Sword. I used to be part of the sword. Um, uh, lead well, the way then. I sort of pull Vera aside for a second. What? The Rose the bad guys. Um, the reason dead and shit. They're not always. That was just what his, he was one of that order. But long ago. Uh, above table, so. it was the Black Rose. Yeah, I was, yeah that was yeah. what was throwing us off was it was a Black yeah emblem mm -hmm. yeah carrie's intelligent but she's not proficient in history so she's just like rose bad no no Ro Ro rose is okay uh, well, well what brought y'all out here the the other little scout one up there i i could take y'all back to hot harlow if y'all like yeah that's where from. we were headed with oh okay Kenna will be back. Hydrant's on his way. Ah! Kenna, we haven't seen Kenna in a while! Yeah, did you know she was kidnapped by uh, Dragon Army forces and held captive for a while? My golly, there are three kinder here. We have a lot of kinder back at our place, too. Um, yeah, yeah, Kenna, she likes to go out exploring. I mean, when she go wanders off, we, we don't pay her no mind. Right, because, yeah, she was a captive for a long time and probably tortured, so. Oh, you don't say. She she okay? She okay now? Yeah. She's alive. She She's okay now. I guess she'll be excited to know I touched the worm. Oh, by the way, thank you for saving my life. Like I said, my name is Kleistron. I'm probably the best explorer in these here wastes. Uh, guys, I, 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 where'd, where'd y'all hear from? I don't remember. Some villages. The Sunward Fortress was the oh, last no. place before Perry and Clay. Or no, it was the, uh, Sunward Fortress where we need to go. Never mind. Um, we were at Wherever the, we uh, got the blue temple blessing, yeah. Phoenix ha Habakkuk's blessing. Oh, that, is, that is mighty. That's that's mighty. That, that that's very interesting. Have you seen any dragon nails? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've seen many. Dra can, can we just stop for a moment? We just fought and killed a giant purple worm. That'll... We're standing amongst the guts of a giant monster we fought and killed. We're and not only are we the fearless few, we're we're worm slayers here. Uh, I'm gonna check go... his temperature. That was, that was I'm gonna check his temperature. He doesn't want to talk about dragons. What? Something's wrong with Ziggy, guys. I I want to talk about everything, but we've also been like we're li well, come literally on. have come a, on the heart hollow. We 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 are welcoming everybody. Uh, I'm sure they'll right. be glad to meet you. I need to harvest this worm's venom. I hear it's very... We need to... Expensive. Uh, valuable. We need to catalog this worm. Ew, really? Stardust yeah. needs to take some measurements. We need to search the worm for debris. I hear there's yeah, witches. I'm, I'm, I'm sure uh, Lavender back, uh, back in Heart Hollow would probably be very interested in that. Can I attempt to harvest the purple worm poison? Venom. Give me a survival check. Where is it? There if it is. Ziggy's helping you. You can roll with advantage. I will take that, yes. please, Ziggy. Thank you. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm taking all sorts of sand. I've got like little jars Ooh. out. I'm putting slime, grabbing slime off and collecting little slime bits and stuff like that. 19 uh, plus 120. Yeah, what we're do doing. What do you have to harvest this with? Do you have any like. What do I have? Balls? I have a poisonous kit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I don't think you've used your poisonous stuff. So you can probably take, uh, yeah, I think you have three vials in a poisonous kit, right? Is it three? Ooh, magic. Ooh. I believe it is. Ooh, it doesn't say. Uh, uh, Siggy, while you're yeah. gathering those, could you perhaps fetch me a, 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 a just like a, a portion of hide? I'm just kind of asking Ziggy to, to also excavate perhaps dry and tan a piece of the flesh. Uh, I um, think it doesn't, it's great. It, it's a great idea. It doesn't say how many vials, just it includes vials. Okay. We'll say it has five vials in there, and you haven't used your poison kit yet, have you? Nope. So, uh, you can probably grab... You find where Vera cut through the, the glands that produce the poison, and you're able to... Uh, uh, get some, but you feel like after you get it, you still have to mess with your poison to get to make it a concentrated dose. Cool. Yeah. So I really, have like you, raw. Yeah, you have like straight oh, raw. You're going to have to use it to make it more concentrated because... Uh-huh. So five vials of raw venom? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and you, with your poison kit, I'll, you can take some time and, you know, do some rolls we'll to see how well you do, do with it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also I'll do grab, that later. You, you can also cut as many teeth as you want out of his mouth if you like. Um, I'll do that. The scales are kind of hard to do. You feel like it'll take some time to cut off scales, depending on how many you want. Well, it's got a lot of side spiky things, too. You can yeah. collect some of those. Yeah, I'm seeking to fashion a drum with the, the... side spikes, the the stuff that helps him burrow through the ground. It's yeah. probably about the size of e uh about the size of you, Ziggy. So trying so to So that'd be a hard like sample to take or whatever. It'd be hard to carry around. Hmm. Alright. Uh guys, I've heard I've read that uh these things swallow all sorts of weird stuff. There might be some like valuables, uh like in this, in the, in the mass here, can we, can we search for that? You feel free to bury your <laughs> face in its shit. No, oh, it's close enough to the mouth. Speaking of mouth, can I cut out a few teeth? You know, the survival check. Nine. Actually. If what or wants do I have, I will use a nat 20. I want all the teeth. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, how long you sp let me ask this. How long are you spending cutting out teeth? Until somebody pulls me away from it. <laughs> all right. Even your uh, little I'll kinder size and your dagger and stuff. So it's going to take you about an, an, with the natural 20. I'll let you have two teeth per hour. Oof. Mm -hmm. They're massive teeth, and you're a small yeah. little kinder. Yep. Okay, I'll get two teeth unless somebody pulls me away sooner than an hour. You probably have to go for one of the small ones because the smaller teeth is probably about the si half your size. Yep. <laughs> Would I be able to get it in the bag of holding? <laughs> I mean, I will say barely. Because they're, they're thin, awesome. so you can probably go in long ways, but. Sweet. Uh, well, um, so yeah, that's what do I'm I, doing for the next hour. Yeah, do I find anything searching through the guts while while she's doing that? Uh, well, I'm going sure to full on check. dive in and see uh, see what uh, all we can get out of this guy. Oh, uh, let's do a survival check. Mm, 21. 21. Sure enough, you find... Sixteen spider legs. You find a bunch of spider eyeballs. Awesome. That's not fully digested yet. Uh, 
And uh, so far, just more gross stuff, guys. Yeah, you find more gross stuff, and you probably find maybe some bones and stuff that could not quite. And with the 21, you probably detect there were like manticores or something that you've seen. But nothing really of anything you gather with your 21, anything that stayed down here long enough would probably dissolved away. All right. Um, well, after properly obliterating the corpse, I guess we'll go back to the NPCs and talk about, uh, yeah, we've seen, uh, dragon elves and, uh, the, a black dragon and a bronze dragon. You saw a black dragon? Yeah, it's like, we got, we got like half a bingo card figured out here. See, um, now I told Ness, I swear the dragons were Benaya, and she didn't want to believe me. She told me I was lying and I was making things up. I knew I saw a dragon out here. Where did you see the dragon? Did you see a black dragon? Oh, when I was a kid. Oh, so this was ways back. Oh, yeah. The closest we've seen is dragon hills. They're not real dragons, they tell me. But, you know, that's the closest I've seen. How many dragons? But you've seen a real, full, real black dragon. Well, once. Oh, yeah. Where'd you see it? Uh, we wiped out um, carrion clay. And uh, and uh, we found a, a bronze egg the dragon army had been hiding, and then a black dragon, uh, whose name uh, we didn't get, uh, uh, landed and took the, the the egg away. Excuse and, me, this uh, is all fine and dandy, but can we just talk this on the way going to the armies, please? Yeah, uh, we still have a corpse of our friend we're carrying uh, amongst a, a wide variety of other. Uh, things so we kind of we, we got we, we do got to like gather up our, our troops and, and head out. I Good mean, Hydra, pin, uh, within this hour, you harvesting this worm, Hydra yeah. would have been back with it. So. Hydra would have been back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're heading out to um the 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 Kinder Village to meet up with our with our armies, right? Uh, we're going you... to the Kinder Village to like restock or whatever, and then heading out to meet up. Yeah. Did you well, guys want to join us and group up or what? Well, we have other people besides Kinda. We have. Oh, wait, Kinda's there too. No, we have a. Uh, we have dwarves. We have humans. You know. And Kinder alike. So, uh. It's not just a Kinder village, though. All right. A village of a bunch of people then. Uh, yeah, well, certainly, yeah. So, are you with a knighthood of Salomnia? Oh, you're talking to Levna? Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, like, do you she, have an order uh, of knights uh, you're part of? Where as you say that, she looks down in her armor and looks mm. back down at Vera. And could probably look at the shield he stole that is also holding the emblem. So, you... You have a shield, and you see me in this armor, and then you ask, Are you part of the order? Uh, well, uh, our good uh, friend Vera is definitely a full knight. I just have the honor of carrying uh, the emblem of uh, the Knights of Salamnia. I uh, uh, have read a lot about them, I have a lot of respect, but honestly, I have not had the knighthood. Uh, Who gave you, know, you permission training to use that shield? Uh, the world, the universe kind of granted it to me, uh, in a very positive and enriching sort of way. And Vera uh, never said no. Yeah. And I totally did not. I mean, I might've taken it off a corpse, but that the corpse was very interested in me avenging, uh, his fallen, you know, ness. Yes. A corpse that we did not kill. Right. We, 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 we happened upon a thing and i just kind of got this sense of like you know young man take this in in my honor uh take vengeance uh, sir vera, uh you know for me uh, uh, i didn't catch y'all's names uh sir i, I actually back back when would have told him about you guys so there um you approve of him using that shield i do now it's helped us in battle Quite often. He's honoring the person who fell 
by holding it. It's fun. But he is not of Look the order. The fun we're having. Thank you, Home Brewery TV, for the follow. Uh, you can give a D4 to anybody you like. Welcome in. Uh, exclamation point rewards can tell you all the rewards you can do for the party. All right, fine. But, uh, yes, uh, the armies is waiting for us. A D4 to Zig. Ziggy, you get a D4. Somebody can add that to the reward sheet, please. Uh, oh, well, like I said, my name is Clystron, and um, we're from Hot Hollow. Uh, I can take you there now, or we can meet up with your army. I, I am very much indebted for you saving my life. Uh, which which one is closer, the army or the uh, village? Community? I haven't seen your army, but you know your friend. Yeah, eleven uh, so Yeah, we're right around the corner. Um, as you hear. As our uh, marching happens and they're coming around the corner. Oh, like literally. Ra oh, yep. Okay. Probably like a mile down the road. Or a road. I don't know why I said road. The valley. Well, so. up to you guys. Do we want to get this bad news out of the way or head into town first and see what we can buy? Head into town? I thought we were still going through that. Community, village, whatever it is. All right. Are the are you guys from the same town as the Kinder we met, or is nope. this a different town? All right. Born and raised in Vogler, and that's gone. Oh, okay. I didn't know if he was asking the NPCs or you guys. I was trying to ask in character, but I'm bad at that. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Names, address. <laughs> <laughs> Found some new music. I'm tired of listening to it. We should probably report in before, yeah, think, yeah. if it's closer. Just them meeting up with our army and um, uh, See and, if they know, found that... know what's going on with Bellroom and all that. I think is a important. Also, they might have more information from Dalamar. If Dalamar caught up with them, we, we don't know. Uh, we're still looking for the, the city. See if they have any other information. Um, and there was a Sunless Citadel to, to go check out. Yeah, the Sunward Fortress. Sunward for Fortress. Sunset Boulevard. Yes. Sunny Delight. Then, yes. Then I think we should meet up with our army and go to the village, or is that what we're doing? Yeah, army village, I think. I don't think our whole army can go there since uh, they said that yeah, it was secret. Much... Well, I'm assuming they're like How did you camping know that hot hot that was off a in the distance or whatever. You, you said it earlier that it was secret underground. Was that Kenna or the new one? Kenna. Remember we placed oh, pebbles. Yeah, at the yeah, yeah. I said that. Yeah, it was kind of a secret. So, like, if we, uh, yeah, I'll try. Like, uh, I prefer not to uh, have the whole army there, but uh, you know, you know. Yeah, no. We'll we'll check in with the army first, and then go visit the town without the army. Well, come on, I'll lead the way. I'm very good at exploring these wastes, and you know, very good, very good at it. Yeah. If y'all follow him, uh, Levinus says, these, these two are mighty, uh, mighty, mighty energetic. Apparently it's a Kenda thing. Y'all are three Kinder and y'all don't seem that energetic. Uh, I'm covered in slime. By the way, the scout is a yeah, human. Yeah, we almost not, died. The scout is a human, not a, not a Kinder. Oh. Yeah. You would giving him a very energetic because he's, he's really Kendall. energetic that's his uh. especially when ziggy brought up the dragon so 
He's very fascinated about dragons. That's why he's so energetic. I want to try. Maybe it's a hot to low thing then. Is um is the wash kind of still relatively present? Like, are we seeing plenty of puddles and? It's whatnot? just puddles, yeah. But it's not <clears> like <throat> not like knee high wash. or ankle high or anything like that. It's just kind of what's left from a previous wash. And uh, Vera is still probably quite smelly at this point. Thanks for that. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Now, now um, you're missing it. <clears throat> yeah. There, that's that's what I wanted to establish, and then I'll um. Vera, I I can't take this anymore. Can let me help you wash off a little bit, and I would like to play my flute to do invoke flood, uh, just at like two foot high, just raise the water level for for one minute or two, so that we have enough to uh, kind of bathe off a little bit. The three foot kenda just suddenly who <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, the one who can't swim that's what i said just like a foot or two 18 inches maybe i think I, i'm in chain mail come on i think Yo, you're just full of supplies aren't you elf <clears throat> let me get under that let me get my armor off t- clean too Let's uh, head out and follow the yippity ippity human. Yep, that... yep. Let's go. All right. I'm assuming the uh, the dragon hunter and Ziggy are, are uh, walking along in, in ten, intense conversation about sharing dragon facts and things oh, like that. How do you react to Stardust? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we didn't even think about oh, that. Yeah. Oh, uh, Stardust's been flying around. Maybe uh, Stardust was flying out of his sight for now, and yeah. then it just flies. Uh, Stardust flies up as we start to get going, and then he can go. What the hell is that? And as we're traveling, I'd also like to be lagged back uh, to talk to Mila in travel. Okay. Uh, so he will eventually see Stardust and be like, "Oh, look over yonder! What is that?" Is that a dragon? Well, it's kind of like a dragon. That's a, it's a drake. Uh, that, this is my boon companion, uh, my, my, my best friend and uh, greatest re- ally, Stardust. Uh, I can summon him at will, and uh, he flies around and uh, shoots lightning. Or, right, you or, can uh, summon a dragon? Awesome. Like, oh, yeah. Um, you know, if you study hard, maybe you too can summon a dragon one day. Never really liked studying. <laughs> so fascinating. Right. Do know. you want to ride him? Oh, yeah. You can. You, 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 you won't be able to fly with him, but you could I ride the dragon ride ride if you want. Uh, Stardust is very friendly. Um, and uh, is willing, uh, you know, you without seem like an question, awesome... he jumps on it and yeah. is waiting for Stardust to move. Yeah, Stardust, Stardust uh... takes off and fly, uh, not flies, but runs around in some circles for him. Ah, this is so much fun. And uh, dashing, you move back to Mela. Um. He's kind of talking hushed, not not for privacy's sake, but uh, I suppose just to save face on himself. Um, Mayla, uh, do you have a minute? Sure. You guys threw around a lot of a lot of names just now. Uh, a, a, a Adalimar, uh, some some other things. I, I'm afraid I'm just not acquainted with these. Uh, Individuals of which you speak, you, you know, catch me up to speed so I don't look like an idiot in front of the rest of them. Um, sure. I mean, I'll, I'll do my best, but I feel like there's been a handful of people that everyone else has run into that I maybe haven't had a chance to chat with, but, uh, sure. Um, I can't say I remember, uh, the name you just mentioned off the top of my head. I'm sorry. Um... Dalimar but, was when y'all met right after the ship, the boat going to Ricker's Edge. 
the elf. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's the one that told you he'll meet y'all at, I think, uh, Sunset Fortress or? No, the Wake and Wrath. Yeah, so that was an elf that we met right after we sailed here. Um, said he was going to meet us at a different location that we've not got to yet. Uh, let's see. Becklin was somebody back uh, in the city before we came out here. Uh, what about uh, Salomnia? I've heard that word tossed around a little bit. Um, Salomnia is pretty well known. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a city, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Haven't been there myself, but... Uh, it's more like the nation area. It's the nation. Oh, okay, yep. okay, my fault then. <laughs> yeah, no worries. It's just bad canon. Um, <clears throat> you say, all right, all right. All right. And um, it, it... This is, I guess, a DM question. I wanted it to be a Mila question, but I just don't think it can be. Uh What's Ishvern's relationship to the store? Yeah, you know what? I'll save it for post post stream. Carry on. I'm good. Uh, above above table, Ishvern is the one that sent them to find you and save them. They and sent they me accompanied. to Carrion yeah. Clay, yeah. but yeah, I yeah. just didn't have the party yeah. come across him. But like I said, we can just yeah. You can ask the party. You can ask the party. They know how they came across them. All right, well, then I will redact it and go to Mila. Um, so how exactly did you all come to know Ishvan? Um, we Blue met Spanish. him. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, get, trying to find it in my notes. <laughs> okay. Um, we met Ishvan at the Blue Phoenix Shrine. Um, and... He sort of talked us through getting a like blessing, I believe that's what he did. Um, which has helped us a lot since being out here for sure. Um, and he's the one who sort of told us um, a few different locations. Uh, he, he's the one who initially told us that um, some sea elves had been captured. Um, and sent us to Camp Carrion and Clay, and I believe he mentioned we might run into a friend, um, but I, I don't know, it's been a long, however long we've been out here, um, and trying to remember everything, uh, yeah, but yeah, he, I do know that he was, uh, very nice whenever he chatted with us, and helpful, um. Yeah, that sounds like Ishvan. Yeah, so that's how we met him, and... Yeah, I hope we get to meet him again soon. I feel like he could give us some wisdom, maybe. How did you know Ishvan? Just family friend? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could you could say that, I suppose. Um, you know, I... Uh, shit, I, I told... Vera, the other day, that uh, I commonly reference Ishvan as one of my friends, but to be honest, we're not really that close. Um, and I think he knows that. Uh, I've kind of spent the better part of the last 20 or 30 years pretty much sulking away and and doing a lot of nothing. And Ishvan, I guess, was one of the few people who remained a comrade to me. Uh, he encouraged me to go on this uh, this adventure to do something about my father's missing strumming as opposed to just playing music all day. Um, I guess he kind of got me off my ass, you know, uh, back out into the sun, back up on the horse, whatever colloquialism you all like to, to dabble in the most. Uh, put me back on the path, as it were, and... Uh, I, one could say that we've known each other long enough to be considered friends, but but we're not really... I don't think that most people... If if I were Ishvan, I don't know that I would consider myself his friend, but I, Dastian, consider Ishvan to be my friend, if that makes sense. But of course, prior to meeting you lot, 
I haven't had many friends in the last 30 years, as I said, aside from from the fish folk who seem to always be so pleasantly surprised with my with my flute playing. But uh, the, so that's how I know him. Nice. I'll have to thank him for, uh, well, getting up, I guess, and uh, putting one foot in front of the other so that we all ran into each other. <laughs> Next time we see him. It does seem like the fate's intertwined a little bit with all of this. Uh, so yes, I, I suppose I owe him a thanks as well. But uh, hopefully there'll be plenty of time for that. Hopefully it's also around some cold ale and an aged wine and beautiful women serving it to us. Right. Cool. And Mela just kind of pulls away from the conversation a little. I think we're done. Serve Vera. Yes. How, how is this party faring? Mm hmm. I don't know if I could give you a detailed report, but we we're doing okay. We haven't really gotten any information on what our overall mission was at the moment. We've got plenty of places to check out, but we still don't know. Are are you familiar with our mission? Uh, yes, uh, you'll have to find the city of lost the, the lost city. Yes. We've gotten plenty of names of places to go check Lost out, names. but we haven't checked them all out yet. That's about as far as we've gotten. We keep getting interrupted. This place is just crawling with enemies. Yes, uh, the, the army, we've been encountering some of the dragon armies. We did encounter some weird frog dragon that was weird weird mutants so to speak did you say frog it's kind of like they're, they're a dragon they're, they're, they're draconians but they had these frog like creatures and they were bloated and they, they, like mutated for some reason we found one or two of them out in the ways we had to kill, but I don't know. It was over by the sun's. It was over by the sun uh, set fortress. Oh, yeah. We've definitely not encountered that. Uh, anything you can tell us about it other than its description? Uh, like we found them in the waste when we were traveling. Uh, they was towed by. This, like I said, the Sunwood Fortress near that area. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, and look, Did the army's right there. They already started setting up camp for the evening. Why this little, this little scout guy that's riding the back of... What the hell is that thing? Uh, it's pet. It's a pet. Fun to ride, though. Interesting. But they should know their way around the place. Oh, very nice. Oh. But yeah, uh, Becklin sent me with a package for you. So, it's very heavy, but I'll give it to you when we get to the army. But the, yeah, and as you're coming up around uh, the 200 troops from Calaman, they're already setting up camp as you start heading back in. It doesn't take you too long where you finally almost immediately see um, Dariot. Hi, friends. Uh, it's been a while. Hope everything is doing well. I started to hear the news of your fallen friend. Who is your new friend here? Uh, and I and I've already forgotten the dragon hunter's name. 
Ah. Fly stream. They're they're kind of hanging out in the back. Uh, he was more referring to Dastion because he's never met Dastion. Ah. Huh. <laughs> said friend though. So if this is an opportunity for Dastion to introduce himself, he will certainly take it. I. Uh, you're right there. So, uh, Dash, cool. you see a dark-haired, full Salamit plate armor um, standing in front of you and is talking to Sir Vera and is gesturing towards you. Uh, my name is uh, Derrit. Pleased to meet you. Uh, Dash kind of glances at the party and then... Uh, smirks before uh before he goes to cast skyright again uh he's going to write of course his name a second time up in the sky uh dashin yinburi um and as he throws it up you know he'll say i am the once famous dashin yinburi son of you know i've never given my father a name um, I thought you did. I did if I did, I, I done forgot it. But um, what's the Enbury backwards? Do a Stanley Yell <laughs> uh, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sounds really difficult. You're <laughs> No, um, <laughs> we'll say it's uh, Dallison. Uh, no, you. He's uh, like, no, you wrote your dad's name in there. It's the Thalaron Yimboy. T H A I R I O N. It's in your best story. Theron. Theron is probably Theron, what I was going yeah. for. Theron. Theron, yeah. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Dustin Yinvery, the famous bard, or son of the famous bard, Theron Yinvery, the once proud holder of the Strummin, portrayer of. Conquering heroism and purveyor of dashing good looks. Pleased to meet you. Who might you be? Oh, Derek, you already said that. Yeah, so Derek, huh? that's some mighty fine magic you got going on there. Are you. Wait, where's Lorwyn? Is... He's the replacement elf. <laughs> oh, so he's looking to take the test of high sorcery as well? As well? Totally, yeah, whatever that is. Test? Could be. And by the way, you say to. replacement, but I say headliner. I thought you were going to go for improvement. Yeah. <laughs> well, and don't forget to add, like, purple worm stabber, a death from above purple worm yeah. stabber guy. I mean, that could that fit into cool. your... Survey yeah, of manticores. <laughs> yeah, survey of man yeah. Yeah, Laura Wynn decided that um, she wanted to hang out with her own folk for a while, and she ditched us a while back. Oh. But then we made new friend. I'm sorry to hear After that. After a bit. And... Yeah. So are you are you trans are you on the quest of joining the Mages of High Sorcery? See, I don't really do the whole joining large groups is too much commercialism involved i i kind of prefer to be a small act you know so ziggy you are you still looking to do that because i believe you were a princess of lorowin i was uh you know learning some some small magics that i could use around this ancient bow uh as well as forest magic and stuff but I don't think that I'm uh, like a sorcerer enough to take any sort of test or trials or anything like that. Well, you do have the brooch. Yeah. I Whatever. cast message to uh, Mila and ask if I'm supposed to be taking such a thing, and if uh, if uh, if uh, if uh, Michigal would want me to. Uh, can I? Do I have to talk out loud for it, I guess? It's more of a whisper. <laughs> I'll just 
Okay, yeah, I'll just whisper her back. Um, I think that was something Lorwyn was working on. I don't think it's like an all elf kind of thing. Um, uh, Mela, you would know that uh, okay. that they're the people that use it as more of practicers of magic and not like divine. Mm. So you probably find Dashen is more of a tricky situation for that because he's kind of like half now following getting his powers from Michigan, but he was also using the powers of, you know, the bard powers. I forgot mm. how you get it, but you know, through music. Um, I think that's a personal question between you and Michigan if you want to pursue, pursue uh, his other magics, but if you're asking my thoughts on it. Um, I don't think she would be very happy if you pursued it. Um, well, it's more the order doesn't take the... I don't think Divine. Mela would know that the... Wow. Would, okay. would Mela know? I was just going off... Roll of, a history like, check. Well, I would say he's inferring, too, that since this Derrick character has not asked if Mela wanted to do it at this mm -hmm. time, and currently Dastion believes Mela to be the strongest magic caster in the group, he, um, that's, uh, that's kind of, I would say that he was assuming that this kind of wasn't our GM. Mm -hmm. 12 is what I got. 12, you would know that the mages of high sorcery are more for wizards, sorcerers, mm -hmm. um, people that does not get their powers through divine you get your powers through divine so you know you will not be welcomed um i don't think they would welcome uh you or i anyway Dostian. okay then he resumes talking to Derek and says um so yeah no i don't think that i'll be joining any cults today i've got enough things going on that i need to focus with but you feel free to have fun with your little politics and things like that Oh, I'm not a spellcaster. At all. I was just merely inquiring because Lauren was that, and and she did magic kind of like you were doing, but she used a spell book. I didn't know. It, it was just a question. Small talk, if you may. Um, you might want to go check on... Um, Jesus, I forgot her name already. Cudgel. Cudgel. Cudgel, she has not left her tent in days. Oh, I won't say days, but like every time we set up, she would not leave her tent. Um, where should we put him? Uh, if you would like, we can set up a funeral. Did you know how he would like to be? He did say that, didn't he? I don't have the full notes. He said something about how he wanted to be interred. Well, Cudgel would know. Making him go look. I didn't write it down. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> how did Dwarves' funerals go? I think um, Garrus wrote in one of his letters. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You don't have him. Mm. I don't. He didn't send Garrus, him to me. Garrus, if you're there. To, uh, he didn't send him to me. He sent him to you guys. Yeah, I've got the personal note, but I don't have the general stuff. Well, I'll look it up. What else y'all like to do? I'd like to that? take a short rest if I could. <laughs> you would like to do what, Dashen? Uh, this is just the army encampment, correct? There is no vendors or anything to do. Is that correct? Uh, we're just, you, we're just is, at our, our army's slow-moving yeah. encampment. Or well, technically, their army slow moving encampments. Yeah, it's an army encampment. Um, uh, I'll yeah, say, well then, Derrit, uh, do you have any any ale or something that we can properly relax with? Perhaps some women. 
Maybe a bit of cards being played. Uh, who are you asking this to? Garrett. I'm sure they have some cards and stuff, but not not the. If, it's it's not that Indian. kind of. What? You said feminine what? Men? Not feminine men. No, <laughs> we do have women, but uh, we're we're an army. We don't have. It's, it's not a brothel. That's of right. You just gotta not. work your charms. Uh, Dashin, it, you hear behind you, um, Levna, like, <clears throat> <clears throat> kind of like, it's more of like, don't ask him that type deal. It was not very decorum, I get you. Yeah. But he'll branch off from the group to go look for alcohol. All right. Uh, I'll go with them. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna t I'm gonna quickly uh talk to him for a minute, Dashin. I cool. I think that the the turnaround on on your uh like I don't even want to call it like uh, bring it back up, but the 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 cowardice issue to today, you the turnaround and just immediately getting in there with all your might and trying to be the most epic hero ever was really impressive. I I think that uh, I should give pep talks more often. I, I have some sort of in, inspirational gift uh, even uh, that, 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 that is giving you uh, some sort of a, a extra, you know, a super abilities and stuff. One might say I inspired the inspirer Ah, uh, yes, you know, Ziggy, I have been thinking that, uh, you know, a muse can take many forms. So uh, I if it weren't for a little bit of your set it straight attitude, I I, I suppose, I, you know, to be honest with you, I, I feel completely different than I did three days ago. And so it, it would definitely be true to say that you, you did play a large role in that. And, 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 I, and I'm I'm grateful for it. Uh, you know, speaking of, you know, you dispatched some of those spiders as we laid eyes on them. You know, I've, I, I've, I've known you like to talk about how, how, how quick and and agile and 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 and. Oh, spiders! Accurate spiders you are, can be. Yeah. Spiders are nothing. I, uh, I, you know, we I, they they call me the Scorpion King. I'm master of all sorts of anthropods uh and and other sorts of things again uh m murder them in in record time but you know to to go face to face with the giant uh colorful worm there with nothing but a pitchfork uh that that takes some real uh, uh chutzpah uh it was, it was it was an impressive uh impressive display uh from all of us really no, we really moved very cohesively. It was, it was, it was inspiring. Not, not just on any one person's part, but, but the group as a whole. We, we seemed to move in in good synchronicity and tandem action with one another. It, it was, you know, I didn't think we belonged being heroes of a story before today. But, but after these past few twenty four hours, you know, I'm starting to think that. We may just well be the damn best men for the job. Fearless few. Yeah, we like uh, there. Uh, there's an entire epic poem about what we have just accomplished today. And so as we're patting each other on the back, obviously, we we've, have we found booze and we're starting to drink it or anything. Uh, you couldn't easily find a encampment of like soldiers or they kind of like pulling their stuff off, getting ready for the night. And they've there are a few meds of ale and just kind of sitting around a campfire it is an encampment it's not like they're having a party or anything so all right well um, i'm gonna raise my glass and go cheers to you you know cheers to the fearless view and uh man we nailed a worm today good job and i you know 
cheers my glass with them. Cheers to the fearless few, newly named. <laughs> it, it works so many ways because you have three kinder, that's few, and they have the fearless trait. Uh, uh, it rubs off on everyone else. Yeah, I guess. Um, back, uh, back at the main part, uh, what are y'all doing? Are y'all heading to Cudgel? Uh, if you would excuse me for a second, Levna, I'm going to go sit over next to Kiri, who is taking a short rest, I heard. And I'm going to be like, uh, so when, when I told you to stop running away, I, I, I didn't mean for you to be bait. Well, it's less bait and more a distraction, because then I can get away. Just the rest of you came running and didn't run away, so it didn't work as well as I imagined it would. All right, just just making sure you 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 know you're you're not you're not bait. I'm not you're, bait. I'm the distraction. You're much more important to us. Don't don't do that, please. She kind of looks at the ground for a minute. And looks back up. If I'm not the distraction, then what good am I? I need to be the one that rushes in, because we don't have that anymore. And if I can rush in, be the distraction, and save one of your lives, that's fine. That is, but I think you're forgetting... We're a team. You don't have to do anything alone. We can rush in with you. Kind of beats the point of a distraction, but I hear you. <laughs> uh, you're too small to be a distraction. Well, that's why I yell loud. I didn't know the thing couldn't hear. Is that what his problem was? I kept yelling at it too, and it just... So gets tender-proof. You realize you're not much taller than she is. Like two inches taller. I'm totally taller than her. Yeah. It counts. Still, but, uh, yeah, I'll probably just hang around here, make sure everything's in order if you want to Go find Cudgel. Yes. Yeah. I, I can do that. Um, and as I get up, I'm going to give her a pat on the back and cast Lay on Hands. I know you're doing a short rest, but that's still what Vera would do. Um, for 20 HP. So I know you took a big hit. You oh, probably look you. like shit right now. <laughs> yeah. It looks like my insides were melting. That's oh, thank you. That feels magic? brilliant. That it was. was. Webinar. Ah. <clears throat> Guess the rumors are true that the gods are back. I never really left. <clears throat> Could you point me in the direction of Cudrill's tent? Let's go. A, a, a package from Becklin is there. As y'all head off, what is Melee doing? Um, is Kenna still writing the Alk with Dalrum? Is what? Oh, yes. Is, yeah. Well, um, uh, are you bringing Belrum's body to Kate, uh, Crudrill? Let me ask that. I don't think I need to bring the body straight to cudgel okay. just need to announce we're here okay all right uh, go ahead mela um i'll probably um tell kenna and her dragon hunter companion which i've also forgot the name of um Clydron. i'll probably yeah i'll i'll just like shuffle them in the direction of where food looks like it could be um just be like um 
I'll stay here with uh, the elk if you want to go get some food, rest. Uh, we might be staying here for the for tonight. Um, oh, yeah, so food? They both run off and get food. Cool. Uh, then I'm just gonna see if the elk will let me pet it as I'm sitting next to it and just chill there, sort of watching the elk stands like, all stoic because it has not gotten a command in a while, so it just stands there stoic and does like normal things that elks do. Cool. Yeah, I'll just stand there and watch the army or you know the camp uh busyness around me um and that's all i'm gonna do i'm sitting nearby and i watch as those two go running off towards the food i'm just like they're kind of weird aren't they yeah still think they're cannibals <laughs> well i don't think the odds are in our favor of meeting anybody normal in here, so that's true. All right, uh, Ziggy and Dash, and y'all still drinking? Uh, yeah, but uh, Dash and, and Ziggy, I think, are pretty uh high on life right now, so Dash is going to be playing a song on his lute to the to whomever's in the nearby vicinity. Uh, definitely a boastful song. I'm, I'm writing it right now, so if you want to circle back at all in like 90 <laughs> more seconds. Cool. You can do a song of rest for everybody, basically. Yeah, uh, that's what it. it'll be. Yeah, sweet. Um, so as you arrive to Cudgel's tent, Vera, and I love that we'll go with you. I will pause outside for a minute. Uh Uncertainly. I'll, I'll give you privacy. I'll stand guard at the tent to make sure nobody goes in. Uh, appreciated. Ah, they have the worst person doing this. Okay, I'm going to step into the tent. Uh, Commander. Coming in. Come in. Well, she's sitting. In. She's she's just sitting on the side of her cot, just kind of doing one of these things with her hands, just thumbing. Came to report in. Uh, the rest of the favored few and I have made it here. So everybody is alive, besides Billum. We had another close call, but yes, we're still kicking. You talked highly of Laura when she okay too. As far as we know, she is. She left before uh, before our last battle. I have constructed a stone sarcophagus. On the top of the sarcophagus is it's not great. It is an encampment. Dartus did best he could, but is an outline of him. We can do a ceremony, but I would like to send his body back to the mountains from where he's from. I believe that's what he would have wanted. I I I think some of the rest of the group has uh, a letter for you that he had written. She takes it from, are you heading into tour now? I don't have it. I'm not the one that has it. Oh. This is bait to get her off her ass. I don't know if I could bear to read it down, but I would certainly take it. Where is he at? I'm back with uh, the rest of the group. He won't want me sulking, so let me stand. By the way, there's a package from Becklin. 
she says Bellroom helped with the design. Trying to think of when he would have had the time to work with Buckland, but um, I will head toward the package and pick it up, but this does not seem like an appropriate time for me to open it. Um, By means, go open it. I think he will want you to open it. At her prompting, then, I, I will open it. You open it up, and it's basically a note sitting on top of full plate mail. Engraved is the insignias and symbols of Freya. Also the symbol of your order. And good luck cosplaying it. You got a whole, like, four months to do so. Um, and then... Did this on purpose. I mean, I kind of had it planned for a while now. Oh. Uh, give me an investigation check. Check. Where are you at? Two. Something about this metal seems familiar, but you're not quite sure. But you Do have I? a full sided plate mail from your order and the symbol of Freya. And you can <laughs> clearly probably discern where they got that from. Hmm. I. I don't know why he would have done this for me. And I don't have a way of repaying him for it now. <clears throat> By staying alive and keeping his memory alive. All right, let's go. <laughs> I will follow with her. Without words. She struts a few of the soldiers to take his body off Hydrin. Place his body in the sarcophagus as made of stone. She says, if you would like, we can have a funeral for y'all to pay your respects. And then I'll send his body back to his clan. Yes, please. So. Whenever you're ready, we can do that. But I'll leave his body here. And she just stands there watching you. As they prepare his bodies for the final resting. Can I give those preparing his body his breastplate, his war hammer, his javelin, his hand axe? You can. You can place them inside the stone. Mela, what are you doing? Um, as I see that everyone's kind of busy and I notice that the boys aren't there, I'll go searching for the boys real quick. Try and find them. All right, as you go searching for the boys, what did they stumble upon dashing as you're singing your song? Uh, dashing and Ziggy sitting uh, really shoulder to shoulder, although there's plenty of room. Uh, I would like to think that Ziggy is in, is trying to pick up on the words as Dashton's making them up as he goes, but uh, <clears throat> he's strumming on his lute and 
Uh, so as, as they're starting to approach, they can kind of hear the music coming. Perhaps a couple soldiers are uh, starting to I got it playing on the sound. Yeah, I would assume we're, we're, there's a group of us now, like yep. other soldiers and the, maybe the dragon scout guy. We're hanging out. Yeah. Uh, we're so celebrating that... and remembering Bellroom in our own special way. Like he would have liked us to by drinking. Uh, sound so like this? They're coming up there and he's <clears throat> we are the fearless few a pint of ale to see what we do we fell giant worms and we free the weak when danger rears you know who to seek we stand as beacons in night guiding lost souls towards mystical's light with hearts unyielding and spirits bold, the fearless few forever told. And he's just repeating that little two lines. Not Dash so him. much gusto. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and take a point of inspiration. Uh, oh, I thought you said go ahead to do it again. <laughs> uh, you, can you take Dan's inspiration for that? As the crowd is just like, yeah, they're getting music. They haven't had music in a while. And they're shouting in sweats. And Mela, you come upon this as he's singing. I I will applaud um and sort of try and catch one of their eyes, maybe, like kind of like wave at them. <laughs> I don't know if they'll pay attention. <laughs> Mela, ladies and gentlemen, right here. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Yeah. Um, Great. Um, Zia and uh, Daz, would you, uh, sorry to take away the fun, everyone, but uh, would you mind uh, letting them come with me for just a moment? Uh, they might be back later. And I'll sort of like hat <laughs> Ziggy and Daz. Daz will polish off his, his mug and set it down stand up off the log they're sitting on or or a bench if they're at a table etc to go yeah ziggy follows along stardust uh behind us um and I, as we walk back i'll just tell them um we found cudgel um they're preparing Bellroom's body um and we're just gonna do a little ceremony before we send him back to his tribe um but i thought you'll you both would want to be there with us uh so and then i'll just lead them back to where everyone is waiting cudgel looks at vera because you do have access to the spell and the way i let you do for rituals she gives you all the spell components to do ceremony if you would like uh i would she, she says, what you do to Antos of conducting the ceremony? Let me look that up. So do have... it basically, ceremony is you can do a wedding, funeral, a couple other things. You can turn uh, water into holy water. And... Um, Basically, the funeral part is the the creature can never be turned undead or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. The for seven days, my gentle repose actually does it for eight, but we'll. we'll... It's more for story. Purposes. It's already been one day anyway, so yeah. Um, so I will approach uh Belrum and take the materials that she gave me. Holy water, holy water. No, it's. I think it's powder silver. It oh. consumes. You can oh, make holy oh, water with ceremony. Well, I wasn't you all the way up. Okay, you're good. Okay. It's a touch. Um, and I will approach his body, <clears throat> touching his forehead to cast the uh, what's left of his forehead <laughs> to uh, cast the spell. Um, concentrating on the power of Freya 
And I'm going to also remove the shield that I probably would have strapped to my back, um, my green shield. And I'm going to place it atop his chest. I don't, I'm not good at words. Uh, My cousin will say, but he did not know your friend. That's all right. It's, it's, it's not because of that. It's, he will meet him. They'll, they're together now, actually. Um, let this help their souls connect and they can, uh, wait for me there on the other side. So what does your spell look like when you cast it? <clears throat> this is to keep him from turning. So, um, most of Freya's spells are mixed in thunder and lightning. I don't want to torch his corpse. So, <laughs> uh, um, we'll focus on what I use with my shield. So, um, you will hear the 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 crash of thunder and it'll probably like radiate along the sarcophagus the the sound echoing off of it um but by like with my usual shield effect the uh the aura that i produce with the wings will be surrounding and then just encamp him and close him in if any of y'all have any final words now is the time I move towards the stone sarcophagus and I reach into the bag of holding and take out one of the purple worm teeth. Would it fit in there? Yeah. I lay it sort of so that it's near his head. And I say, I know you weren't here physically for this fight. I know you would have fucking loved it. I'll miss you. Brother. Move away. Okay. Ziggy? Uh, yeah. I'll, um, approach. It's obvious Ziggy's a little upset, doesn't really know what to say here. I'll just, uh, you know, uh, uh, Bellroom, you went too soon. Uh, we'll 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 remember your bravery, your pig-headedness and stubbornness will guide us through the rest of this uh, mission we're on, and uh, you know we'll always remember. Um, you know we'll always remember what uh, to ask ourselves. What would Bellroom do? Uh, and I will. Uh, I'll take a little bit of my I'll take out a little bit of my hard tack rations and I say I know I tried to cook you so much food weird trail food and snacks and things and you just always always just wanted to sit there and gnaw on your hard tack so for you I'm not going to cook anything weird or catch anything strange and try to make you eat it I'm just going to give you this little bit of hard tack to carry with you to the afterlife and he sets that in the uh in the uh, uh, sarcophagus and steps back. Mela? When Mela comes up, um, she first touches her fingers to her lips and then to his chest, sort of as a farewell. Um, says, thank you. For everything you did for us. We'll carry on. I'll try to remember everything that you taught me. And then I pull out 
the last bite of kinder bread that he had given me. And I place it in the sarcophagus. Um, so thanks for being such a great friend to, to kinders and to elves and everyone in between. May Mishikos light guide you to your next life, my friend. And then she'll give a little bow and walk away. As the powers of their spell, which the powder, uh, the the powder silver day consumes as it reaches in, it reforms Belrin's face to what it used to be before it smashed on the ground. Vera, what is your last as you're doing it? Lo there do I see my father, lo there do I see my mother, and my sister, and my brother. Lo there do I see the line of my people, back to the beginning. Lo do they call me, they bid me to take my place among them, in the halls of Valhalla, where the brave may live forever. Bastion, do you wait for the cast sarcophagi to be closed, or...? Yeah, I'll say, um, <clears throat> you know, I guess when he kind of steps forward to be his turn, he'll say, um, uh, yeah, we didn't really, uh, we didn't really mesh together, you know, when I first joined the favored few, I could probably safely say you were the least thrilled about it, but, um, and I truly didn't care your opinion of it, but... I will say that you turned us from the favored few into the fearless few. That uh, that jump spark of courage and confidence that a lot of us needed is kind of due in part to who you were. And um, I would like to cast Minor Illusion to kind of make a image of Belgrim sitting on the casket and looking back at everybody, perhaps make him smile and beckon a wave to everybody. And then the image to lay in with the body. Levna steps forward kneels before Krugel. My sword, my life, if it comes to be, will fight in the honor of your friend Belrum. I will protect his friends, his family, till this end or whatever end becomes. My sword, my strength, is with you all. And she looks at each and every one of y'all. And as they shut the cat, uh, sarcophagi. And I will conclude the ceremony as knights come and take Bellum's body away to be transported back to his clan. Once the casket is starting on its way, I'll turn to Cudgel and say he had a few things he wanted you to have and reach into the bag of holding and take out his braces of defense and his notebook and hand them over to Cudgel. She takes them. She does one of those half hugs around you, Carrie. I hug her back full, full strength, neg one strength. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. 
how family of you. Least I could do. Thank you for bringing his body back to me. She kisses you on the forehead and turns the waltz away. Back to the tent. Tears. <laughs> I'm trying not to do it again, so. <laughs> but the rest of the night is yours. You can um, stay here for the night to get a long rest, or you can go ahead and start heading out to Hearts Hollow. You can also restock on basic supplies. Uh, if you need to replace any daggers or shields or anything like that, you can. Get some more rations. My beads of nourishment are getting a bit low. Well, you got those from Wayne. Wylan. Wylan. Who? The, ma <laughs> the magic shop. The You actually had to buy those. Those are magical. Yeah, yeah. I, I resupply my rations, not the beads of oh. nourishment. Oh, I thought you say you were replying yep. your beads in. Okay. Yeah, you Got can it. easily repl uh, replenish your rations. Um, I don't know what it's for, but. Well, what would y'all like to do? You can easily have I your need own to. I need to find a new shield. So you can get uh, one basic shield. They don't have magical items, obviously. It's a basic military encampment. Mm. So, do y'all want to rest here tonight or head to. Carrie's probably already like bunking down, so <laughs> okay. she elects to stay. Alright. Um. Ashton is returning to drinking, trying to find a card game, all while on the prowl for some uh, other comforts that seem to be in very short supply. But uh, he would probably be doing some minor gambling with uh, a couple soldiers. You elf. Would you like to have a drink with me? This is you are sure never turned down for Yale. Let's go get a drink. You all head off to drink. Does anybody have anything else they would like to do for you settle in for tonight? Might have a go at those, um, I keep thinking wyvern poison, um, purple oh, worm poison, to... venom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, roll, what is it for, does it say on there, proficiency bonus? Uh, yeah, it, uh, it, bleh, bleh, it would be proficiency bonus plus, plus whatever debts. check. Is it debts? I think it's debts. Poisoner's kit. Proficiency lets you add your proficiency bonus to any ability checks you make to craft or use poisons, so it's up to you. Oh, okay. Uh, you can use performance or... Slide of hand? A slide of hand is more of a stealing, so you can. I'll say you can use your performance or dexterity. Yep, I'll do dexterity. That would be a check. Yep. Ooh, that's a natural two for six. <laughs> you drop it. Thankfully, it was not a one, so you don't fumble it, but you lose one vial of it, and it burns into the ground like a nice little hole. Right, that's enough for this night. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's Ziggy doing? Turning in? Mela? Well, I mean, a, a little oh. bit of drinking, not the not the carousing, uh, women chasing it. Okay. Uh, okay. But he will uh, drink and share some stories and stuff before, you know, 
taking a take going and getting into a long rest. All right. Mayla? Um Mayla's gonna hunt around for a bit, a bit of spare like cloth that she can find, um specifically like blue colored cloth if she can find it. Um Easy and enough. some thread. Easy enough. Yeah. And she's just gonna spend some time um sewing like a little pattern um on it before she goes to sleep. Alright. Vera. I will be switching out my armor, which will take forever because I'm tiny. Um but uh I mean like you don't want to sleep in it though, so you probably just I, I, I'm not going to be able to resist putting it on at least once, though. So I will so, still be, like, switching it out for a bit. And, and it's probably kinder size, so. Yay! Do you probably walk around? Probably clean my flute a little, but otherwise, Do you walk yeah. around while I'm nearby? Because I have a passive investigation of 16, so I might be able to notice probably. whatever it is. I mean, it's loud, so. Yeah, she, it's very she, loud. She, you made her make a investigation check before, though. Maybe I can see what that was for. I did. Yeah, and she got like a two or something for it, so it was okay. Like, there's something well, familiar. Okay, how about, about how about this? You dropped your uh, you dropped the thing. You're like fuck, 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 and you walking out, kind of like all kind of upset out of your tent, and you see Vera walking around. How about that? We roll that way. Sure. That's such a waste of... Oh, hi, Vera. New armor? Uh, yeah. Belram left it for me. Belram and, uh, Becklin. Oh, wow. Where did he get the coin for that, then? I have no idea. I sort of do a little 360 around you, just like, ooh. How do I look? Sexy, not gonna lie. It's good. <laughs> I'm gonna stand a little straighter at that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Your investigation. Oh, I remember mm. now. You, you, know, you can roll an investigation as you're looking at it now. Investigation. That's better. 19. Something about the smell. You swear you've seen this before. Can I make a history check to be like where? Sure. Or on whom? Natural one. I think that's my mum's old armor. <laughs> my really? mum that I never met. <laughs> really? I don't you know. It's really me? familiar. Can't can't place Your it. Your mum was sexy in it though. Oh, maybe not. It's had some alterations, you know. After an hour walking through, Vera, you realize it's a plus one plate armor. Hmm. Because hmm. uh, you're attuning to it. It was something that was magic before, and the magic's been re-infused after you attuned to it. Okay. Which you swear, but neither one of you can place where you've seen this armor at before. But that being said, we'll pick up here after our break. We'll pick up with a very inter interesting conversation. I'm, Levin is going to have a dash in. And yeah. With that being said, thank you guys for doing this and having fun with it. Uh, I was hoping to get further in, but, you know, decided to f have a full-fledged fight with the worm to the death. Where y'all was designed for y'all to run away. Hey, that was awesome, though. So are we officially changing the group to Fearless View? Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to change the overlay and everything. I just, yeah. Alrighty. I just finished yeah. it, man. 
I mean, I, all I have to do is go into Canva and change favorite to fearless. So, with that being said, we love you very much. Uh, so, are you still going live tomorrow? Cleansing? Yeah, I don't see any reason why I won't be live, but I, I would like to <clears throat> forego my outro portion of designated time to um, instead add praise to the group. Uh, these last three sessions have been some of the most fun D&D sessions that I've been a part of. I haven't uh, been in a lot of D&D campaigns, but uh, I really feel the vibrant life of, of all the characters a whole lot more in the last few episodes. And I just want to say that it's been, it's been stellar to be a part of. I hope that you sitting at home enjoying the show with your goblet are um, feeling the same way because I have just been from from where we started i know it's only seven or eight sessions for me but if from those first three to the last three i feel there's been tremendous growth in the overall fun of each episode so uh you know claybot nihilus jazz bookworm great jobs it's been a lot of fun so it sucks that we're going on break because i feel like we're hitting a stride but uh it's been stellar experience nonetheless. Uh, Nihilish? We'll come back even stronger. Exactly. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going live at the moment. Uh, still hoping to do something this weekend, so keep a lookout. It would probably be more Honkai, if that's the case. <laughs> um, for me, uh, the add on what uh, Clean Ring just says, like player deaths, they suck, but they also bring up players and party members together in like no other way if you do it right. And so I think we really did this right. Um, sorry that I have a schooling route to my next command that I have to go to. It's six weeks long, but you know, well, get there eventually. So usually it would be only like a month break, but you know, it is what it is. Duty calls. Speaking of, I made my re-enlisted today and picked up my next rank for this new order. So it was a very emotional day for me. So anyway, we love you very much. And Nets, we won't be live. I think this is the final live. I might, if I do any more lives, be me painting or something this weekend. But uh, other than that, I think that's about it. We'll be recording our last episode of the black order Sunday night and I don't work Monday so we can go later. So, cause I have Monday off cause it's St. Patty's day. So, uh, so we can go later on Mon uh, Sunday. So, uh, look for that video on Monday to post. With that being said, we love you very much. Have a great night and we'll see you when we see you.